right. You leave Satya into the rolling hills of Los Hogir towards the Dragon's Temple. The road is pleasant and quiet as, as it's always been, save for the other day when the blot showed up unexpectedly. And uh, it leads towards the farmlands where you undertook the tournament to become pilgrims. Uh, there are a few more guards present than there were before, most likely, uh, in the event of more blot, potentially, and a fair bit of able hands taking down the tents and facilities that were once up to uh, facilitate the events. Uh, the Draconic Pilgrimage is always good for business, so there's always like a lot of booths around that would have sold food, maybe some wares, merchandise, and the like. Uh, and you do see a couple of familiar faces among the spotty groups. Two of the contestants that you fought yesterday, Koriak the Dragonborn, who is helping to physically lift and move items along, and Jorbib the Goblin, who seems to be managing and directing as well as casting a few uh, assistant spells of his own. Let me show their portrait uh, real quick once again. I have too many things. <laughs> uh, Koriak. Small town, huh? <laughs> and DM against Jorbib. Oh, yeah. too much. There they are. There's Jorbib. <laughs> Jorbib. Uh, and they, he was the one. <laughs> they they seem to notice you and just kind of wave you over. Uh, yeah, walk up. To mm -hmm. And uh, Jorbib uh, just kind of uh, extends a hand. Uh, good to meet you. Uh, Jorbib did not get a chance that he wanted to. Uh, he wanted to do some investigations and did not have a chance to properly introduce himself. Who, who's he? Who's he trying to handshake? He's just <laughs> extending his hand to whoever will take it as the group. I assume uh, you were walking together. A word yeah, will I'll step shake. up and grab Thank it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, since you two are of eye level with each other, both being yeah. short folk. The pleasure is mine, little man. Ah. Uh, Jorbib understands the joke. What joke? <laughs> Ah, he just kind of scratches his head a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I look back to everyone and then I take a step back from him. Well, right. uh, Jorbib wanted to do a bit of investigating uh, about the, the blot phenomenon. Very strange of its appearance to happen in Satya in such large quantities. Yes. We uh, have been led to believe that a weather witch was contracted to provide a distraction, which is great. That was a great thing that happened. <laughs> Jorbib and Koryak just look at each other, and Jorbib looks a little bit puzzled. Weather Witch? Jorbib did not consider meteoromantics to be capable of creating the blood of all things. Jorbib would Me love either. to have a conversation with this Weather Witch and what they might know. Me too. We don't know who they are. We just know that they threw some clouds around and made poop rain from the sky. Hmm. Yes. Uh, very fascinating. Uh, dangerous, of course, but fascinating nonetheless. Hmm. Yeah, well, um, also, sorry for all the, uh, I, you, I think, Jorbib, got it the worst of your teammates. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I just wanted to apologize. <laughs> you understand there's no hard feelings. It was all a competition. He right. chuckles a little bit and holds up one hand. Oh, not at all. Not at all. It's, this gave Jorbib very good notes on future combat encounters. Wrote down a lot of notes, uh, discovered a few new spells and their uses. But, um, yes, no hard feelings, Lesson of course. One be able to participate. <laughs> yeah. Think of it as, uh, you were the biggest threat, so we had to keep you away. He yeah, we, we were all talking was... about, we were all talking about how you were probably the biggest threat, so that's really why it was. Yeah, yeah like I got a glimpse of you just throwing fireballs everywhere. Jorbin yeah. looks up to Koryak and just be like, see? <laughs> <laughs> and Koryak just uh, crosses his arms, shakes his head a little bit. Yes, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and Jorbib looks to you kind of a little bit skittish. Also, uh, Jorbib wanted to ask, uh, since you are pilgrims of Satya now, uh, did you mayhaps visit uh, lo uh, Lord Candela? Did, did Lord we? What? Well, uh, don't probably not then. Uh, so. <laughs> since, uh, Lord Candela, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, Lord Candela. She, uh, so basically, Lord Candela is essentially kind of like a governor of Satya. And uh, she mostly sticks, stays in uh, kind of the official building for the most part. Doesn't really come out all that often as opposed to Elias, who, you know, is very much in tune with the community. Um, mm. it, 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 Jorbib, 
Jorbib had previously done one of the pil. Is he one of the people that had previously done the pilgrimage, or was he just in Jade's? From group? what you understand, Jade is the only one of this group who has done the okay. pilgrimage before. Mm. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah. He he just shrugs his shoulders. Uh, no, no worries. Uh, just uh, was hoping to become pilgrim so that uh, Jorbib could meet the Lord and suggest improvements to the library stock. All good, of course, but uh, Jorbib have connections on new publishings from Aguna to the north. Uh, think Satya could use a larger selection. Imports can be slow at times. And Koryak, like, immediately nudges him and gives him a little look. <laughs> Friend, you're doing that thing again. And Jorbib catches himself. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Jorbib did not mean to impose wants on you. Was, was just speaking his mind. Yeah. Books. B were they looking they're, uh, for us? They're important. Uh, no, probably not, but uh, considering you are pilgrims now, you could probably present yourselves to official building and meet with Lord, possibly make some more small change, things that common man cannot often present since she is so busy all the time. Don't we have that uh, final test to get to? Uh, yes, yes, your people will not yes. keep you. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> was uh, thinking we should probably do that first thing today. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> and uh, he just kind of like sheepishly goes back and Koryak just gives him a, a silly look. And Koryak hey. speaks up. Uh, uh, don't worry about us, friends. You go do your thing, but when you're finished, I would like to speak with you about some matters that I would like to request as well. But after your little travel to the temple, of course. Very well. If you wish to find me, I'll probably still be at these uh, farms helping clean up. But I do wish you the best of luck. Yeah, we'll get back to you on that. He starts walking away. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's... <laughs> Thanks, friends. You will. They all wave it's at the you. The last God. thing that I wanted to talk about today was books and politics. <laughs> We're hey, going to go talk to a feller. dragon. Leave him. He's just a little quirky feller. Yeah, but... Yeah. I'm like you want I understand nerd. books. <laughs> yeah, I ain't nothing very... like him. Yeah. I, I understand that it's very valuable to have access to books for some people, right? I never thought of it. You know, maybe there's like a good recipe for chicken or something in there. I Aren't do believe I've heard of books for cooking. I never I thought, thought that there'd be like a book them, fully dedicated to cooking. I think there might be several. I now see the value of books. <laughs> <laughs> Burger book. Oh, no. So you you didn't. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna say. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So All right. you. Well, we'll we'll see you later. We're gonna we got a time. I tap my wrist. There's no watch there. <laughs> yeah. You uh you do make your way uh, approaching the temple, but there is some downtime. If you would like to have a converse with each other or do anything in particular, uh, there is some yeah. time before you reach the temple. I got a question. Were were any of you under the impression that they were gonna like people were gonna ask us to do stuff for them? Like I didn't under, I didn't get the impression that we were gonna be like politicians or we're gonna have to advocate for anybody. Yeah, I mean we're, we're, we're fucking leaving this place like right now. I don't see why suddenly everyone is uh, giving us these little jobs to do. I'll be honest. I think I, I might have known this would happen, but job. I fully disregarded it. <laughs> You guys really aren't community members, are you? No, <laughs> not this community. I have very important duties, and this is one of them now. It's strange <laughs> that they're adding more. Yeah, that was a little surprising. But, you know, uh, it's good to have connections. You have people that owe you with debt. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you think you're saying that the reason it's good to do these jobs for people is so people become indebted to you? Is that what you're saying? Yes, absolutely. Is is there another reason? <laughs> well, it's just I think my experience with debt has never really been positive in that sense. Um, yeah, because you owe people things. That's fair enough. But that's when people enough. owe me things, <laughs> it's you know better for me. It has nothing to do with you. Right. And you, word you said something that confused me there. You said you're not a part of this community. And which part of which community are you a part of? Well, I'm trying to foster the boys down you know below. The city that you guys thrive in, this isn't really my my gig. Oh yes, right. the boys. Stay out of the sewers, but yeah. So you're squatting? 
No, technically, it's like a different community. It's like its own little village just below yours. We, we don't have a name for it Do you pay taxes yet. on that land? They have as much right to live here as anyone else. Yeah. Which is very little. Yes, we do taxes. collect taxes. Oh, then, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I couldn't care. You do? <laughs> yeah, we collect taxes. We're, We're not uncivilized. <laughs> From where? You know, just here and there, like an apple, yes. a handkerchief, right. a fork. Okay, that's what I thought. So, you know, valuables, general things that uh, that we need that other people, you don't know, have too much of. <laughs> and these boys, they they think of you as, as like their... Boss. Oh, right, of course. I yeah. think I heard one or two of them saying that. They have they're said going that once They're going to be all right without yes. you. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, no, I gave them all the direction. You know, a couple of them, I think, even have a book or two, so they'll be fine. Oh, really? Can they read? Did you I don't teach know. them that? Do you have to read books to benefit from them? It can't be that complicated. I don't, I wouldn't think so. Did yeah. you just ask, do you have to read a book to benefit from the book? <laughs> what else, what, are, what else would you do with the book? Several books I have I mean, that little goblin guy was, yeah. No, I understand like, that. Like, I like just... pictures, and when you look at the pictures, I think sometimes you can cast spells and stuff. Many reference novels have. Yeah. Multitudes of very impressive illustrations. I'm mm. not saying that that's. I'm not saying that that's not the case. I'm not saying that books don't have pictures in them. I'm just saying that I think, in my experience with books, and I'm like looking at Fritz to help me out here. <laughs> in, in my experience with books, most of them you have the main information is in the the reading portion of it. Well, I thought, yeah, you read the stuff on the back. Yeah. I feel like um, I'm being made to be the crazy one here, and I, I think I'm I mean, pretty. I've been pretty confident I, up until I, I, this I think moment just, about how you, books work. You just overvalue, you know, the pages as uh, anything more than kindling. Uh huh. Oh, I suppose that is another use for books. The blurb. What's a blurb? That's the blurb. Is it blurbs. called a blurb? Yes. Attestations I mean, on the back of the book from other people who read the book. It's the yeah, I thought well, a blurb I mean, was like word, the stomach, read, the noise I'm that your sure, stomach made. If word can read, I'm sure they can read. Is um, the majority probably, of this maybe? fucking party illiterate? We <laughs> <laughs> can, can read. I know, I I know how to read. read. Okay. Okay. Lara gains I... no benefit from reading books. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do I know if I can read? <laughs> I think it's, it's language is known. So we're, we can... we're not actively literate. <laughs> we're not... <laughs> Just because you can read doesn't mean you do it very often. That is <laughs> true. We need to read when fight good. <laughs> we need read when steal item just as though you <laughs> This isn't Skyrim. We can't level up lockpicking by reading books. So wonderful. Yeah. Books are for nerds. Books yeah. are for nerds. Books are for wizards. That is true. Wait, we say wisdom that like casters right as we're only, the baby. <laughs> All right, well, all so, this book talk does yeah. eventually kill the time for you guys We're, like, to make talking it about. To, the, to the temple. It takes uh, a couple, like, a, like an hour or so. And uh, oh. as you approach the temple, you see a massive marble structure with plants and flowers growing all around it, seemingly completely yeah. taking it over. Yet uh, no wear or tear on the building at all, almost as if they grow in tandem. Uh, at the oh. foot of the building, in front of you, you can see a myriad of old, rusted, worn out, and or broken weapons. Dozens of them laid in, uh, not in a, in a uniform, uh, but rows beside the giant doorway. And uh, keeping them company is a familiar face, Jade. Mm. Who Yay. is um, just saying some words of prayer. You can hear her whispering under her breath. And uh, she notices your presence and smiles at you. Ah, the ones who did me over good yesterday. How goes? It goes. What is the significance of these weapons? Uh, these, they're um, weapons from previous pilgrims who finished their journey, returned back home, and uh, finished. Retired. Oh. I retired. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I like, like close my fist tight around big blind. <laughs> so do we have to give up our weapons once we're done or she chuckles, is that sort no of worries, nothing so contractual as that. This is all completely voluntary. It's more of a symbolic gesture really. Hmm. Hmm. But I well, take it. they'll have to pick up like a oh. fancy sword or something. Hey, hey. Go on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about he like the big the fancy sword, sword he's going to grab and bring here. You're an actual magpie. For me being a bird, you're more bird-like than me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just want to do my due diligence and make sure that everybody knows what the score was. 
She lifts one eyebrow and a cheeky smile at that. Is that right? You know, yeah. I'd like to get a rematch with you sometime if that would be nice. If all things I would consider love for you. to see that. Oh, please do can that. We get popcorn, please. Word was <laughs> Perhaps just, that word... could be the final test. Yeah, Word I'll was just saying that he thinks he, he. Word was just saying how he thinks he could probably take you specifically one on one, and he oh, yeah. he was upset he didn't get an opportunity. To, how to did you know that was to... what I was thinking? <laughs> you <laughs> mind? <laughs> She crosses her arms and leans back a little. Oh, well, I would hate to deprive him of that an opportunity, but maybe not today. So, you're going to go beat up my uncle, eh? Looking forward to is seeing how this new is? blood does it. Respectfully, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually didn't know that we were just going to kick his butt. I, well, that means so many things. I, well, uh, that's how he likes to do it. The other people and the other dragons in the other provinces like to do things differently. A few times in Aguna, they just straight up gave me their dragon heart without so much of a fuss. I like that. Considering you know, at least that he's this... not making us like read a book. <laughs> Considering that the purpose of this quest is the revitalization of all life in our entire land, you'd think they'd make this easier for us. Uh, you'd think so, but perhaps uh, traversing the rest of Alinthi might give you a little bit of perspective. It certainly did give me. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ominous. Spe we fight the dragon now so we can fight an alligator later. Well, it <laughs> would be easier. Alligator. Significantly. Yeah. Um, Let's speaking go of, kick his butt. I, I was going to say that speaking of your perspective today, you, you've, you because you've done this before, you've beaten up Elias before, I would assume. Aye. And do you have any perspective? I've never fought a dragon. Um... How would one or four go about doing something like that if you were so inclined to you give us some advice? Eyes. <laughs> she shrugs her is shoulders. That, is word right? She shrugged her shoulders a little bit. I don't <laughs> rightly know how to present you with, uh, because, well, my uncle likes to change it up every decade. Whatever he has in there cooking for you is different from what I did, but uh, considering <laughs> the dragon specifically, he's going to try and single you out. Uh... Clumping up isn't exactly the best thing, considering he breathes fire, so I wouldn't recommend that. Mm. But he does like to employ the use of little illusionary soldiers to help him. Uh, thinks mm. that strength in numbers can help. So keep uh, that in mind, whittle him down to his own self, and that will probably help you out quite a bit. The power of turn economy. <laughs> for the record, there are very few things that going for the eyes does not work on. <laughs> that's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Except for, like, walking suits of armor and dead things. Uh, <laughs> elementals, I think. A sure sign that something is unnatural. <laughs> yeah. They don't have eyes. The, if you hit it in the eye and it doesn't flinch, that is not normal. <laughs> that's run. very much not normal. Run. <laughs> <That's dangerous>. let's, <laughs> yeah, let's, all, let's all agree we're not going to go for the most well-armored part of the enemy in any circumstance, oh, right? Yes. I think that's. Yeah. I think that's good. It's good we're having these strategy meetings now right before we fight a dragon. Um, yeah. <laughs> hearing you guys oh. kind of like talk, just like talking about strategy and stuff, she has like a deep breath and just like, you know, you remind me of me. Feels like yesterday I was a scrawny lass with messy hair, obsessed with corn taffy, getting mixed feelings about fighting my uncle. So much has corn changed taffy. since then. I've got eye bags now. Those appear regardless of age, depending on circumstance. That's hey, corn that's taffy. <laughs> but it's probably for the best. Satya has its own little problems that probably need focusing on. And it's about time I tried settling down and focusing on those problems rather than going out to fix those of the wider world. Because that's your job that now. That reminds me, actually. I'm so sorry. Did news of the Weather Witch make it to you yet? I've heard a little bit of rumor spreading about town, yeah. It does give right. me some cause for concern. Yes. We've never heard I of anyone we'll... who could control the blot before. Me neither. We'll be keeping an eye out for any of that on the road, but if sh if this person is still here, I trust that you will protect this land. Yeah, of course, but uh, of course. in my own way, that doesn't have so much traveling gear anymore. She kind of like rolls her shoulder a bit, and she reaches back behind her to pull her sword, 
and throws it down into the grassy dirt as it <gasps> shink, sinks in beside the rest of the old weapons that litter the ground. Mm. And she puts both arms on her hips and a conclusive nod. Guess I'll oh, have to find something else to use. Me and that sword, we've been through a lot, but I think it's time it had its own rest. How conclusive. <laughs> I, I cast message to, uh, <laughs> Fel, I forget your character's name. Buck. <laughs> Buck. <laughs> Buck. And I just, you just hear whispered in your head, I want that sword. <laughs> Don't touch the special sword. Also, how are you doing this? Message is the one that you have to whisper, <laughs> right? Yeah, so you can see my mouth, my, like my <laughs> lips oh, slightly moving. You're, you're no, you can to respond. Him and whispering, and you're like next to each other. Can you give me? Yeah, a, I'm, I'm my arms crossed. Can you give me a stealth check real quick? <laughs> yeah. Oh please, no! Please, please give a stealth check. Oh All god! All right, one second. She uh, covers her uh, hand over her mouth. Ah, oh, it's a get pretty good sword, isn't it? Yeah. She starts to walk away. I wish you best of luck, pilgrims. And uh, there's no rules on these weapons. So whichever one strikes your fancy, I'm not here to stop you. It's not mine. And she gives a little wink uh, and starts to head back to Satya. Fritz, I feel right. like we just missed a conversation. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you can go catch her. She's right there. I think when we get back, we take all these swords and we like bury them or something. And then we put our weapons here. What? what? When we're done with yeah, the quest, I'm a, you want to? Yeah, this. What? so it'll be like we'll we'll be the only ones that did it. Well then, well then, we're you're not gonna. No one's gonna have any other people's swords to compare it to. You know, mm. to make you seem greater. You're probably gonna want to find throughout our journey the biggest weapon you can find, and then you can bring that back and use that. I think that's a better way to cement yeah, your legs. Yeah, are okay. you really that confident in your weapon? People are gonna be comparing theirs to yours. Do you think yours is that big? Yeah, what weapon uh, do you yeah, have? Yeah, like anyway? money. I've got this uh, giant mace. What weapon do you have, Word? I am detecting subtext on... in this conversation. Let's go inside. <laughs> I'm planning on killing a fire giant and carving my name into his sword and bringing it here. Remember, for All the right. eyes. For the eyes. <laughs> for the eyes. <laughs> he will not have eyes. All right. So, <laughs> we walk in. You like guys head into, <laughs> into the temple and pardon the flash of assets. You're going to be all the way at the bottom of this oh, map. Uh... Oh gosh, the map is. Yep, the map is pretty oh big, boy. so you're gonna oh be all boy. the way at the bottom. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, it's, it's I'm doing a lot of scrolling, huh? You yeah, can't Jesus. zoom out. Oh my! As well. Oh my goodness! Make sure to so zoom out. So we're gonna out be exploring it. You're yep. giving us a dungeon day one. Oh, is Joe, you spoil a us. Hey. A dungeon and perhaps a dragon. What? What? <gasps> what else is the name <gasps> of the game we're playing? Woo! Uh, you love step them. inside the temple. As the place is lit up with brightly colored stained glass windows, the floor is lined with a shiny light stone you could practically see reflection in it. And besides the entrance is a tall stool with a bowl on top of it. It seems to have a varied selection of candy and a little note with a handwritten message. Take some. <laughs> and the I bowl, will take a piece of candy. <laughs> the bowl also seems to have a disproportionately large amount of corn taffy in it. I will where's not the take a piece of corn. Uh, it's, just, it's just by the entrance. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll, but where's I'll it on the map? One. It might be tactically important. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll you, take one. It's got various candy. Whatever you're you're searching for or what you would be into in Satya is probably in there. Uh, a few exported take, candies, but mostly local stuff. Can I take like a handful, just like a like the bad kid on Halloween? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of candy in there. <laughs> After you take the candy from the bowl, you hear the voice of Elias Verdugo echo throughout the halls. Ah, pilgrims, welcome to my temple. The days ahead of you will not be a simple stroll along the beachside. As such, I think it appropriate to prepare you for those days where the sea may appear so far away. However ravenous the heat of battle, however harsh the winds of regret, However crushing the avalanche of doubt, the will to press on will be your most reliable shield. When you are ready, you may proceed. Interesting. Hmm. I'm well, gonna walk up to the door. All right. <laughs> I'm ready, who's going in front of me? Me. <laughs> so you go in front oh. of the door and you creak it open and inside you see a <gasps> maze of some kind and some kind of like, kind of magical sigils Pokemon. on the floor. And as you enter, you oh, hear oh no. you hear Elias's voice. 
Elinthi will test your mind, that it may confuse you and throw you off balance. I kind of hope that this is exactly ripped from the psychic Pokemon gym. <laughs> <laughs> and, all right. Joe, is that an owl bear I spy? You do. So no. you see that there are this kind of uh, glass walls, very thick glass walls, oh. with a bunch of other kind of um, sigils on the floor, as well as a bunch of chests. You can see everything that's in this room, and the glass oh. walls do not... Uh, prevent your view at all. So everything you can see as players, you can see as um, as characters as well. So, and we can hmm. we can draw too. Yes. So we can like figure this out as we go. Wait, hold on. If we can see them, they can see us. They can. Yeah. You can see that Probably. there's an owl bear that is actually asleep right now, just taking a little nap, Aww. as well mm. as a bunch okay. of chests on the sides. Word, you wish to go through the left one, yes? Yes, first room left. First room left. So you go into the left sigil on the floor, and it magically transports you like a portal into uh, here. And in fact, you know what? Let's roll initiative for this so that oh, we can all gosh. take turns trying the thing we wish to try. So after word teleports there, uh, I'll say because you're the first one to act, I'll let you finish out the rest of your movement. Um, so, uh -oh. we'll say it's your turn right now. Um, Anywhere else you okay. wish to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kinda try and race through my route. So okay, so you go that on that one, five, and you end up 10, 15. here. Zoop. Okay. Hmm. It's a dead end. Wait, not so how do you get out of there? Oh, I see. So you exit <laughs> out just, and go back in, hop off, hop, and you yeah, end okay. up Oops. Here. Oh, shoop. oh boy. Oh no. oh no. It's more complicated than we thought. I don't like this. I'm gonna stay here. Somebody come help me. <laughs> Alright, next is Fritz's turn. Um I'm trying to think here. Whoever's uh, taking notes on the map, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to look for patterns right now. I was gonna you like know what? sketch it out in my notes app. <laughs> like, Please be careful, Fritz. Map it out. Um, so we've explored that area, but we... Okay. Not fully, but yeah, try a different one. Can I, I do you, should I, should I try a different one? Do you guys, or do you want me to try the one in the room with Worried? Go to whichever one doesn't take you to the owlbear. Wow, that's so informative. Thank you, Word. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just trying out. <laughs> Best foot forward. All right, you step oh, into gosh. that one, and it goes shoop, right into the next room. In front of you. Okay. Um, well, I only have one way to go here. Um, oh, gosh. You know what? Best foot for it. You step into that one, and zoop, you are teleported into the room with the owl there. Uh, make me a, wait, it's make okay. me a stealth check. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Never go straight. <laughs> Always. Honestly, <laughs> thank you for doing that, because that was going to be my plan. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh, Unless you wish to remember. awaken the owl bear immediately. No, and then not you even start entirely. teleporting too. Okay. Oh. You step in and you make a little <laughs> eat and the owl bear <laughs> oh, no. wakes up. I told you not to do that. Step back through you the door. You said nothing. And back through the door, oh, Fritz. It is Can going I... to be surprised for this round, so when it mm. reaches its turn, it still needs to wake up, but it is now on the initiative, and it notices you and yawns and stretches, and it's getting up. Just because the animal's standing up. Can I roll a <laughs> history if I know that these are just very aggressive animals? No need to roll at all. I'll let you know that um, okay. owl bears are generally aggressive and very, very territorial, like bears, but more owl-like. Ah. Uh, it's not often you afraid. see. It's not often you see an owl bear in captivity or domestication. They're very difficult to domesticate, but it's not unheard mm -hmm. of that some people keep owl bears as pets. There's not a lot of them because a lot of them get eaten. Yes. Hmm. Um, ooh, regretting I didn't take animal handling. Handling. <laughs> I don't really want to kill this thing on my own. Uh, da, 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 da. You can step back through, I think. If you can you step back still. through the door? I'm scared if I step back through, it will know to step back through. 
It looks very big. It'd be better you than being in, in a room. Cage. <laughs> yeah. That is. I I don't know. I I don't know how clever these things are. <laughs> Birds are very clever. At I have you know. Thank you. Oh, that's um, true. Owls are actually pretty stupid. <laughs> My mother. Listen, <laughs> one half of <laughs> This is interesting. Yeah, really, really, really. <laughs> you know what? I'm so sorry, Alba, for disturbing your piece. You're wonderful, brilliant. Uh, <laughs> I'm stepping back through. All right, you step back uh, through, but it doesn't thing. send you there. Yeah. It sends you realized. here. Shoop. Okay. Hey. That is a step in the right direction. Um. Anyone have sleep? I'm gonna end my here and let you fix the mess I made. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> Anything else? Is that your turn? I can't see what else I could do. You could go through this door. You could try and step back into the portal you came into. I will, yeah, I'll step in this portal one more time just so we know where this goes. All right, we'll you step oh, into gosh. that portal and you end up shoop, next to this chest. Oh, hey. okay. you know so you're what? not back with the owlbear, that's good. Do you guys want me to open the chest or do you want to do some stuff before? I kind of want to leave looting to the end. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I uh, I think I'll end my turn and uh, yeah. All right. Buck, your turn. Uh, let me see. So I only have 10 feet. Can I take a piece of candy that I have and toss it and see if it goes through the portal or if I need to stand on top of it? You to most certainly can try that. Smart. Uh, will that take like an action or anything? I'll say to a bonus just, like, action. Toss a... You're nonchalantly uh, tossing a thing. Sure, I will nonchalantly toss a piece of candy to the portal to my right. You toss a candle to the portal to your right, and it shows up in Word's room. Huh. Shortcut. Okay. Um. Hmm. Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're, I, I can't, I don't want to scream. I don't want this thing to break through. These are glass walls, right? So this thing can see. Very thick glass walls. It might just walls. break it through can, the fucking glass. It can <laughs> see you, yes. Hmm. And if I call, I'm going to call, word, dude, that was me. Can he hear me? Yes, he can hear muffled, but still make out what you're saying. Uh, then okay. I cast message. Yeah, I saw. I ate the candy. I'm sorry. Okay, so that was the, that was the portal on my right. I, I'm going to just... I, I feel like I need to go after Fritz. Oh, good. All right, so you're going to follow her pattern, teleport here into the owlbear room, <laughs> and the owlbear just like, uh, just like <laughs> seeing you come in and squawks at you as you step in. Yeah, so I want to maybe stay here, because I think that's all my movement okay. um, for 30 oh. feet, and then uh, I dash. will... You could dash. Yeah. I, would, I think, I don't know if this thing is going to break... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't. I don't want this thing. I gotta. I feel like I gotta get through. I'll dash. Okay. So I'll go whoosh. So that's five. And then, and then ten to here. exit and go back in. Okay, so fifteen here. Um, and then I can I. So if I so if I was here at fifteen, can I just go look through this door? You most certainly can. <laughs> you yeah, open that door yeah. to see into that room, and you see a precarious long path. Over oh, some water, some very still water. Oh, how unsuspicious. Okay, I'll end my turn there then, I guess. And then as you <laughs> enter into the, that room, you hear Elias's voice again. <laughs> Elinthi will just test your judgment that it may avert your course into unexpected places. Okay, th button. thank you. Um, and I'll end my turn. Wait, Next is the owlbear's turn. It is a surprise round, so it's not going to do anything, wow. but it's just kind of squawking and checking around its uh, environment. And it goes to... No, it doesn't do anything because it's a surprise round. Never mind. Hmm. Lyra, your turn. <clears throat> I did not I one too. prepare speak with animals. <laughs> so we're not going to try diplomacy with the owl bear. We're just going to... Um... Um... Yeah, let's Here experiment for the purposes of scientific inquiry. Fifteen. Okay, that so one. So does that take me to words yep. room? Takes you to words okay. room. Yeah. Then I would like to step back through it by you word. Boop, you step 20. back through it, and it shows yes. you show up here, right above word. Ah. Oh, I'll be right back probably. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty-five. What's on the other side of this All door? Right. You open that door, and on the other side, 
you see that there is a oh. large room with a bunch of illusory soldiers and a floor full of grease. <laughs> and they immediately <laughs> take note of you and, like, see you come in. They don't do anything, but their what eyes are trained on you. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna step back in. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. I think I'm out of movement. I don't think I have enough to to step back through where I just came through. But I'm just gonna take a couple steps back. You can like. dash if you so wish to double your movement speed. Oh, I suppose I could do that. I suppose if I'm not really doing anything else this turn, I may as well, you know, just for yeah. funsies. And we'll uh, say yeah, just we'll for convenience, you close the door as well. Yeah. <laughs> just all right. Well, I found those illusory soldiers we were informed about. Bip. All right. Oh, are you stepping into that portal? I am. You yeah, step into that portal and you're taking zoop over here. Hey, the treasure chest room. Yep. I want that one. I've been working <laughs> my way over there. <laughs> um, well, let's see. I, I took the dash action. I don't know. Can I open the chest with a bonus action or would that be? I would, would that say have to be an action? a free action to open the chest, a bonus action to grab whatever's inside. All right. Let's do the free action to open the chest. All right. Unless you open it's a it, I think. Er, yes. And inside, right. oh, it's so cute. Inside, you find one potion of healing and one potion of mana. That is a uh, original item uh, that I have made up. Where if you drink it, it restores one first level spell slot. Hey. Hey. Uh, can I use my bonus action to stow those in my inventory? You most certainly can. You may add one potion of healing and one potion of mana. Why? Thank you. Let me just manage that, and I think that's going to be my turn sorted. Okay. Word. All right. Oops. I'm going to uh, re-enter the portal I'm currently standing on. All right. That's 10 feet. You re-enter into it, and yes. shoop, you enter this room. Oh, boy. I go to that one. It's another okay. 10 feet. You enter that one, and you are sent shoop, into this room on this portal. Okay. <laughs> uh... I don't know where a lot of these go. Let's go in that one. You go in that one, and zoop, you show up yeah. in this chest room. Yes! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I jump on the chest. I've done it. You're going to open that chest? Yeah. You open the chest. That'll, that's the end of my movement. Too. And I'm going to need you to make Snakes. a dexterity saving throw because it's a mimic. Rock! Yes! 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 Oh, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> dexterity oh, wow. saving my throw. And oh, that's no. Seven. Ooh. The chest wow. reaches out at you and bites at your hand. And oh you are boy. going to take uh, seven piercing damage as it bites on you immediately. And this is the opposite <laughs> of what I wanted. We are rolling like trash today, I gotta say. Yeah, seriously, that is bad. Maybe it's a brain's day. <laughs> but it is still your turn. But now you have a mimic that is uh, very unhappy uh, I with had. You. I'm pretty sure I moved further than 30 there. I think I moved 40. Um, we can retroactively say you dash. You're a speedy little guy. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm a rogue. I can use my bonus yeah, action. Yeah, you to can dash. bonus action <laughs> dash. Heck yeah. Um, you know what? Then I will actually have used my other move action to dash. I will use my bonus action to disengage and get right the hell back in there. <laughs> All right. The chest tries to reach for another bite at you. As you go in that, you show up back in the original room. Choop. Word, word is just screaming. <laughs> His arm is bleeding a little bit. He's like, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is probably yeah. like pins. Now the question is, <laughs> this I've is never the actually place to be. mimic. Does the mimic have a movement speed? It does. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think, I think oh, they my. do, yeah. You know what? If everyone else is looting, can I open this chest? You most certainly can. Duck has do it. fucked off. 50-50 <laughs> shot gonna, so far. You're going to open it? Let's Monty yeah. Hall Stab this. it first. Always stab them first. All right. I don't... You know what? There wouldn't be two mimics, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Monty Hall situation. All the right. only question is, is the mimic the car or the goat? So no. you creak the chest open. It's safe. Yay. And inside, you can see a... Um, a little mimic. <laughs> you, you find <laughs> a, a little baby. A scroll of magic missile. <gasps> hmm. I like that. Gonna go back. I'm going to stand on this. Where okay. does this take me? That one takes Alabama. you zoop, back to this room. Ah. Okay. And then, oh, if I wanted to get to Buck, I would have to go back to the owl. Should I say hello to the owl again? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. 
Um, I want to go here. You go in here, you come out here. I'm really curious here, about that really here. complicated one. I Oh, yeah. I'm we don't know what happens if you go back to the one you were just... Oh, we don't know? Yeah, you, if you no. go into this one, you come out here. And Oh, oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. you're going well, to hate do it my... Too. You're yeah. going to hate my plan right oh. now. Oh. Um, so I'll use my fi last five feet to go back what? into back that, in that portal. Okay. And then you'll oh. end up by the owl there. <laughs> Okay. And I'm going to dash by going like wait I'm standing on the portal can I does it count as a movement if I'm standing on it? Uh yeah you have to get yeah, off yeah, you of have it to get off of it and it. back on. Okay I'm a can I use my dash to go off and back on? Yes, oh you well, can. I should have asked that. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. using your dash gives you another uh, okay, thirty feet. Okay I'm gonna do that. I'm a little worried. So yeah, you I'm get gonna... you get another thirty feet of movement. I'm a dash. Yep. And skedaddle peace sign the Albert <laughs> you're looking wonderful today. Bye bye. And then you go five, ten into this yeah. and show up here, and you have twenty okay. feet left. I am going to catch up with Buck. All right, catch up with Buck. Will that be your turn? Yes, I'll end my turn. Here. All right, Buck, your turn. Fritz, did you just go back through around the horn to get past the Albear again to get here? Um, yes. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, it was that or a mimic. Ah, that's so true. Um, <laughs> wait. Okay. Should we split up and try and uh, take this by ourselves, or? Do you? I, I, I don't know. Pairs sound like a good idea. I feel as though if we go back the way we came, we're gonna have to fight through the. Yeah, the only well, way back. I guess we don't. I guess we don't have. We don't. No, we don't have to. Because we could go here to here, and then here to here, and then, and then here to the other back way is to the mimic. Yeah. 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 The mimic uh, or the bear. We also don't know if they can use the portals, but they probably yeah. can. Yeah. We're uh, about to find out after. Yeah, we, we're about to, we are about to find out. <laughs> Next let's initiative, not, baby. Let's not m m uh, move necessarily just yet, but... Um, what would you like to do? I would like to just maybe have <laughs> you, you, I'll stay here in case this thing comes through, because it's coming through this direction, <laughs> um, if it's coming through, and I'll, I guess I'll just, I will hold my action to attack it if it comes through, because I'm worried this thing is going to come, like, bursting through, um, the room. That would be very cinematic. All right. Yeah, I'm a little... Scared. I'll say so you I'll can hold myself. your action to... Uh, to swing if anything comes through, uh, it comes through that portal. The owl bear, rather. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. not gonna. That's I'm not what gonna I would genie like to... you and be like, if anything comes through there, including your friends. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not gonna, I'm well, not if it's word, unless it's word, word seems to be about the same size as the owl bear. Yeah. I will hit word with a hammer. No, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll hold that's my action. Flattery. I'll hold my action just because I don't know what's gonna happen, and I'd rather wait to learn that before going through the going through the portals to meet up at that I'm going to be so nice, I'll, I'll, I'll. and in the case that it doesn't, what else would you prefer to do? Because I don't hmm. want you to feel like you've wasted your turn. I wouldn't feel that way um, right. to <laughs> get information, but I think if I were to do anything, I might uh, suggest to Fritz that we try to meet up with the rest of the party, Having, but I don't want to leave Fritz on their own, so... Um, I think it's better that we stay together with like a plan. So I think I'll still spend my turn waiting uh, with Fritz right. with my action held. Okie dokie. Yeah. Okay, next is the owlbear's turn. Oh, yeah. The owlbear. You know, this is probably just a glyph that'll blow yeah. you up. Well, we, we might find out soon. I'm curious <laughs> about these portals in my room. Oh no. <laughs> so uh, it's scientific it. inquiry. <laughs> the owlbear is gonna go up to the portal and reach its its uh, front oh, claw in. It's gonna bop it you. It can't fit its whole body, but the paw oh, is able oh, to reach oh. out and goes to swipe at you, Buck. <laughs> and okay. you can, your action springs, you can take a swing at it. Nice, I will take a hit with, I will make a hit with my big blind. Hey. Ooh, very nice, nice. that does Ooh. hit, and you just like bat it. Oh through. yeah. But it does reach for you and it's gonna try to swipe you. Ooh, it doesn't do very well. It goes to swipe, but your batting just like, boof, just like immediately makes the claw retract, and you can see the owl bear just kind of shake it in pain. 
Nice. And it just squawks Ooh, uh, at you <laughs> from across the uh, the glass walls. Next is also this gonna is be an the What's up? Oh, sorry. This is an interesting question. I no. have a I have a ability called Crusher. So once per turn, if I hit a creature with an attack that deals bludgeoning damage, I can move it five feet. Oh. Provided that the target is no more than one size larger. So I, can I push it back five feet away from the portal? You can. Yes. Through the portal. I don't know how. Oh. I don't know if that is how this. I, that yeah, sounds so cool. So I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> nice. Well, okay. Now I feel yeah, just You bad push for it, it and it just just kind of into the wall, <laughs> and it looks a little bit perplexed at that. Nice. Very good. Cool. And it's just going to squawk at the portal a little bit and squawk at you, since it, there's not much else it can do, aside from reach through the portal with one arm, because it's too big. Okay. <laughs> Next is the Mimic. The Mimic hops. Boom, 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 boom. It's chasing <laughs> me. And it's going to go Play through the portal. Shoop, and it's going to try oh, and no. take a bite out of you. I was going to use that no, one, too. No, word. <laughs> uh... Unfortunately, you do parry it, out, kind of like as it goes to bite at you, but you're able to parry it. it you know, it's like gnawing on your dagger as you're holding it back. Yeah. Uh, it's sticky. <laughs> Lara, your turn. Hmm. I'm going to uh, just <clears throat> five, ten. Where does this take me? That <laughs> takes you into this room with a large glyph on the ground Boom. and I need you to make a wisdom save. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, no. Okay. It, you mean it wasn't a nice, happy, <laughs> mysterious rune circle on the ground? Ooh. The, oh, the rolls you off when you step on these The glyph rolling so good today. Oh, my goodness. Goes off yeah. poof, as a bright, blinding light. You guys see just this box become like a white cube. <laughs> and Lyra, you are blinded and you take... Who's Lyra? Three. Lyra, dead. sorry. Lyra's dead. Lyra, you take three radiant damage and are blinded. Ah. Ooh, okay. Good. I love this. That's bad. Why did I have temp HP? Eh, it's fine. Mm. Um, well, they're gone now. But yes, at uh, the start of your next turn, you may roll another wisdom save to see if you are still blinded. I have a question. Is there a way out of this room? <laughs> I don't know. Is there? Yes. Well, I... Oh. I am, You're on top of a portal. You're you standing on top oh, of a portal. Oh, I am? Okay. Uh, will you permit me to attempt to go? Well, hold on. Yes, you can. This puts I, me in a, blinded okay. does not prevent your movement. It just prevents like, right. attacks and stuff. Cool. All right. Uh huh. <clears throat> 15, 20. Where does this put me? So that puts you all the way zoop, back into the starting room. With the mimic! Where, where you see word, <laughs> a, a vague Don't figure word. of word, and a <laughs> vague chest me. shaped <laughs> object chasing him. Ah. Uh. All right, don't worry, I've trained for this. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let's throw out a thorn whip cantrip. All right, thorn the, whip uh... is going to be at disadvantage, so. Sure, oh. I think I got it. There we go. That is going to be a nat, uh, that's going to be a nat one. Oh, fantastic. Oof. Everything today is going well. <laughs> Everything is going well. So you go to thorn whip and thorn whip it and oh. And you, yeah. this is gonna be mean. You yeah. whip word, word. You take one piercing oh, no. damage. Oh, oh no! One piercing damage. Word. I think I got Do it. Do I look like a box with teeth to you? The resemblance Ow. is uncanny now that you bring it up. Well, then you have fun in here and fight him alone. Tiniest <laughs> I mean. pupils right now. Uh, all right. You know, I don't want to do this, but that was only, I think, 20 feet of my movement. Mm -hmm. uh, let me leave. I can move and I can leave. Yeah, I can just straight up no, leave. No, let me leave. <laughs> you can leave on your own turn. <laughs> 25, 30. Put me in the next room, please. All right, yep. You're evil. You're uh, evil. <laughs> I loosened him up for you. Good luck. You, <laughs> you loosened me up for me. <laughs> Lyra, you're here to help. <laughs> 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 she leaves. All right, word. That's what a nat one deserves. <laughs> your uh, word, your turn. Uh, I hope Elias uh, is having a good this. time with this. I hope you get eaten by a big owl bear. <laughs> Hello, owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> and right. that's, that's pretty much the end so of my movie. So fast. Yeah. Okay. It, Lightning yeah. speed. Lightning I can actually speed. dash, so I can just. <laughs> I'm not doing Whoa. that. <laughs> oh, please, please do it. I want I to presume, see what happens. I presume I you're just also die disengaging <laughs> from the mimic? Uh, yeah, that would be my, my bonus action. Okay. 
Next, he's uh, rolling around. With the is that all sound. you wish to do? That's that's oh, all I think. I that's can everything. Do, yeah. yeah, your full action and your bonus yes. action. All right, Fritz, your turn. Okay. Um, can I do some experimenting? <laughs> what do you wish to do? I. I'm gonna do something dangerous. <laughs> I am going to throw my dagger into the portal. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and try moves. to like throw it like I'd be throwing it in front of me at the bear. Uh, through this portal. Yes. Through throwing it through this portal will make it come out of this portal. Yes, and I'm hoping it would go through that portal. Oh, but it would have to move away. It would have to come back into the. Oh, same I forgot portal. about that roll. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking. I'm trying to. Put, I'm trying to be a big brain. <laughs> I'm unfortunately a bird brain. Equations uh, passing in front of you. <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm gonna jump into the fort- portal in front of me. Okay, and you're gonna end up in this one. And then end up in this one. And then it's five foot to move out, and then five foot to move back yep. in. Ten so that's feet. Ten right. Go in. And then so I've show used here. twenty of my feet, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. N- now I'll throw my dagger. <laughs> okay, you're gonna throw your dagger at the owl bear through the portal. Yes. Because it is not exactly the easiest yeah. thing to aim through a portal. I'm gonna say at disadvantage. Oh, 17 nice. is still pretty good. You throw yeah, your dagger there's... through the portal and it lodges into the owlbear's shoulder and it squawks in pain. And it just kind of goes to lick at it a little bit. Oh. I feel bad, but it did swipe. It, it, hit, it tried to hit first. We just hit back harder. Um. <laughs> this does feel a little unnecessarily mean. <laughs> Yeah, I feel really bad, but it swiped at us. Um, do it I have anything that I can help you with? Oh, of course I fucking can't. So it's a blind spell that you have on you, correct? Uh, Not a I spell, was... just an effect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me add that to my... She is uh, blinded. That's what that I'm little eye, bleeding eye yeah. effect is. I'm guessing It's effects. okay. I think I can stumble through the, um, the, uh, the correct portal to get where you're at. You know what? Uh, you're kind of our spelly person, right? Theoretically. Can I actually, I'm willing to hand them the magic missile catcher. I'm going to hand oh. them. Oh, yes. neat. You That's hand cool. Lyra the, the scroll of magic missile. Yes. Oh, this sounds very exciting. I know you can't paper, see. Paper, correct? <laughs> hand out paper. <laughs> you feel the paper in your hand? You got it? Yes, I got it. I got it. Magic missile. Ooh. I'm just going to add that to my inventory. Now get us out of here. <laughs> oh. I am now your problem. And now oh, I am goody. my turn. <laughs> All right. Buck, your turn. Uh, my, where'd my problem go? Word. Uh, <laughs> she's gone. Uh, um, I... Gosh, I don't... I, I guess I'm going to stay here. I don't want to go back through. I feel like we were just together. I'm hoping that they can get through on their next turn. Oh, yeah. Um, no, hang out there. A mimic, a mimic is on its way. Would you like to delay your turn until later? Uh, I, I have no problem holding my action, stepping. I realize now as a big boy bu- bugbear, I have reach, so I can hit it if it puts its hand through. Okay. Um, but I will, so I have no problem holding my turn to try and hit the thing if it comes through, but I don't know what I would be deferring my turn for other than to hit things with my big hammer anyway. Right, right, right. So, okay. However you want to, however you want to rule it, but I'm happy to take a step back and hold my action for if an enemy were to come through, uh, or the owlbear were to stick his paw through to hit it with my hammer. Okay. Red. So I'll end my turn. All right. Next is the owlbear and the mimic's turn. The owlbear is just going to lick its wounds now. It feels as though there's not much it can do in this tight scenario and this portal in its way. So it is simply going to lay down prone and lick its wounds. Uh, the mimic is going to bum 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 hop into this portal, teleport here, and then hop bum 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 into this portal, not knowing that it brings it here, <laughs> and it looks very confused. And it's just gonna stand in the corner right here, trying to bite at the glass wall towards you guys, licking it, not understanding how the portals work. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. And that's gonna Idiot. be its turn. <laughs> Great. And Lara, you may roll a wisdom save to see if you are still blinded. 
Yeah, let's do it. Big money, big money, big money. Nope, yeah. Still <laughs> <laughs> All right. Getting the bad no. rolls out of the way, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For this Just whole an session. Hour and a half into the session. <laughs> yeah. You know, it feels better to be like superstitious about physical dice rather than computer RNGs. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, well. You wanna hold my hand? Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, you know what? I think I'll just hold my action so that uh, on Fritz's turn when they move, uh, I'll just follow wherever they go. No, Take hand. us back through the portals, baby. All right. I will say <laughs> for convenience's you. sake, you guys have <laughs> at least in uh, uh, safely dispatched the owl bear to where it is concerned about its own well-being that it's probably not going to attack you and the mimic is too mm -hmm. dumb to navigate its way mm -hmm. towards you so you can move freely i'm going to get rid of the initiative order okay. for now yay and eventually Lara, yeah. your eye your your blindness would go away so i'm going to remove that cool because you, you have quote unquote defeated moment. this room <laughs> getting yeah. getting this nice. many of the portals like and and figuring out where they go i think is enough to give you that convenience hooray God damn it, Joe, so. I could have held Lyra's hand. <laughs> you can still hold Oh, no, we, we did hold hands. Yeah, oh, it was fine. Still hold hands. Yeah, so <laughs> where, do you wish, where do you wish to go next? <laughs> you wish to go into this greasy room or the water room? The water room makes me nervous because it has hidden threat written all over it, whereas the grease room, we kind of know what's up. But... For that same reason, I'm equally scared of this room because these are illusory warriors and I'm mm. afraid something else is in the grease. But I'm mm. I'm happy to do with that or we decide. I, I know scout. we're already close to this one as well, so. That is true. We are all sort of congregated by the water room. Um, I'm okay with giving that one a try. Yeah. All right. You guys come through the portal and Buck and Word are holding hands too. Aww. <laughs> Aww <laughs> solidarity. holding hands. We just uh, didn't want to get lost or separated. <laughs> You felt left out. Of course, completely tactical. <laughs> Should we go into the room? Uh, yeah. Let's. All right. Word oh. first, though. <laughs> what? uh, what's the? Yeah. What's the the marching order? I am. Uh, Do you... I am wounded. I will stay right here. Do you want me to go first? Because I can probably fly above the water. Because somebody well... slapped me in the face with a vine. <laughs> I wonder who that was. Let me let me see if I can just um Yeah, I didn't check get a something. good look at him. <laughs> let me let me just hold on one second. And I want to um step up I don't want to step forward onto the bridge, but I want to um reach up to the four leaf clover on my hat, give it a hold a little bit and just take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and I'll use my magic awareness uh mm. f ability. Uh-huh. Part of uh I don't know if I can share that. There it is. Open your awareness so, to the presence of concentrated magic until the end of your turn. You know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total Ooh. cover. Fancy. When you, when you walk into this room and you check for magical things, you realize magic. this room is completely mundane. Huh. <laughs> there is j That's no horrifying. magic in this entire room. Well, here's the good news. Um, I don't think there's any magic going on in here. That's not to say there's not something swimming around in the water. That is water beneath that us, right? That is water. It is very clearly how, water. How deep below us, like, is how long of a fall would it be to the water? Uh, is it... It's it's almost to the surface. Like, you can see there's splashes mm. of water, like, on the surface as well. It's like pool distance. Like a pool, yeah. Like a pool. And can And can we see anything in the water? Uh, the water looks pretty clear. In fact, it looks like a swimming pool, almost. It's very clear water. You can see the bottom. Uh, there's nothing in it. And you mm. sense no magical effect on it. No, I was going to say, this. I feel pretty confident in my abilities. I'm going to take a step forward. You just take a step forward and nothing happens. Watch out for the and alligators. I'm just going to do that until I'm over oh. to the other side. All right. You get over to the other side. Are you going to open the door? I'm gonna open the door if that's okay with everybody. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sure. All right. Okay, and I'll open the door. So you open the door and you hear Elias's voice again. Helenthi will test your faith that it may cause self-doubt in your convictions. And as you do open it, you see just a massive stream of fire right in front of you. 
Oh, goody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From three hey. large mechanical constructs that seem to be an act acting like a flamethrower of some kind, completely engulfing oh the path in front of you. They seem to be sitting on a surface that is 30 feet up. And is, uh... you can vaguely see a portal kind of at the end of the room. Huh. Um, if I take a step here, will I be burned? No, but you can feel the heat. <laughs> Feels like Link's awakening kind mm. of puzzle. Yeah. Okay, so there's like a big... Um, you guys are going to want to come here and see this. You guys can just right. put yourselves where Buck is. Yeah. And yeah. you yeah. too see the, the big bridge. roaring streams of fire being bursted out by these mechanical pieces. Oh, uh, yeah, mm. that's uh, that's not ideal. Mm. Also, my arm is like covered in blood. Does anyone have something for that? Oh, yes. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do a little... What is my bomb of the summer court? It's in here somewhere. Ah. Oh yeah, uh, bonus action. I'm just gonna uh, restore a little bit of HP. Um, let me just, oh, that's a lot actually. Hold on, I think it's more efficient for me to just do a little cure wounds on you. Let me just, oop. Whatever seals up my open bleeding wounds. <laughs> it was one hit point, you're fine. That's uh, you didn't see the thing bite me. You whipped me after I was down. I was busy. There was a completely were... mundane chest that gave me some very nice potions. You were busy. So... Wait, what kind of potions? Oh, don't worry about it. All right, so this fire situation. Hmm. You still um, haven't healed me. Yes, I have. Yeah, it's she in the heal you for eight. Oh, yep. okay, cool. Sorry, yeah, that, I that was is, in the... That is good yep. enough. Yeah. So... <laughs> I'm yeah. still a little sore, but oh no, I'm fine actually. I'm perfect. Yeah, that fine. was the exact amount I needed. Uh. Huzzah! <laughs> the RNG giveth and it taketh away. Okay. You are forgiven. So, the the it's fire, gonna... would it be possible to probably get up and over it? The fire seems or... to almost completely like cover the room head to toe. It mm. seems like we gotta go in that other room first. Oh. Not necessarily. Here's yeah. here's an idea I have, and then I'll pick out one of my javelins and I'll throw it at the uh, at one of these things. <laughs> can I do that? <laughs> yes, you may. Oh, throw can you see them? Which one? Uh, I have two javelins. I think. Two I javelins. think which one? Uh, oh, which? Are you oh, which? Targeting? Okay. Uh, yeah. let's go for. Let's just go for. Oh, I actually have to get closer to do it, or I'll do it. <laughs> Dang it! It's too. Does it's anyone too... see the the opening on that other side of the wall? Yes. Yes. Oh. You, uh, yeah. so I'll, I'll say, yeah, you can see kind of like behind a very thick glass wall, just like the one in the portal room, another portal on the other end. Oh, no, sorry. I more meant like if we can see up there, we can kind of oh, see yes, that there's like a way to get up there. Opening as well. That's yes, what I'm looking at. Here. Yeah. You can see there's an opening hallway into another room that you haven't seen or been to yet. Oh. Um, I've already thrown oh my, my javelin. All right, okay. Throw yeah. your javelin. Yes, your javelin. It sticks into this thing and it. Jams into it, but it's still going. Does it well, look like I've that did anything? I, or I it do. shakes it a little bit, and it like stops sputting its fire just a little bit, but then continues to give the stream, uh, the stream of fire. You have damaged it though. There is visible damage on this thing. Um, mm. Could I fire oh, I an ice knife tablet, at sorry. the same one? You most certainly can. Boop. All right. Uh, well, it's not going to be very good at dexterity saving throws. That's good. Because it's a it's a construct. Uh, mm -hmm. But you throw it, and the thing shatters. And this thing, the fire sputters a little bit more. But it's still going, but almost out. I have uh. three more javelins. I could. I mean, we could take this one out, I believe. There's two other ones. This no, I know, but I could. room to get through. But yeah, we can get closer mm -hmm. at the very least. Wait, but that's a wall on the other side. How are we going to get through? Well, there's a oh, wait, there's, there's a portal. A, a right. Portal. Yep. Uh, right under fire. Uh, fire no. kind of in the way. Okay. I'm Second just going to guess that we yep. probably have to turn back, and turning back through the room that I am standing in is going to be more difficult than getting through it. Hmm. So, uh, hmm. Layra, maybe I you should walk across that bridge again. Oh. <laughs> I mean, are we are we really giving up on the fire room, or do you just need me to move out of the way? 
Oh, I, I mean, we'll, we'll make our way back to the fire room if we go around, it looks like. There's an opening there, and then you, that other door that you saw was on the same side. Oh, that's possible, but we would have to uh, fight stuff. There was... I threw another javelin, by the way. Oh, you threw yes. another javelin. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, 14. The 14, unfortunately, oh. just pings off the side. The javelin Oof. lands on this higher platform. Ding, 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 ding. Just over here. Unfortunately, you couldn't make, uh, a pier make it pierce this armor. How many javelins do we have? I have two more. Uh, two more. I have one also. You want to keep trying? All right. Um. The sunk cost fallacy question <laughs> coming up, but I, but I, I really sure do want to keep tossing javelins. You are a to right. uh, I, I support have a question, this idea. Uh, I have an answer for the DM. Um, do I know of anything I can shift into at this level that's mostly fireproof? Um. Totally your call. It's just I all am, the lists I have are of normal animals. I am a not sure what the shifter can shift into, since I am not familiar oh. with that race. CR one. No, no. Uh, the oh, shifter oh, is one thing, druid. but I have wild I shape. Druid. Wild shape. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can just could be, be slightly more cat-like. Uh, not yet. Uh, I would need oh. to be a big insect. CR uh, one fourth, and there's a. It takes a, a while before I can get a. Bit? Yeah. Uh, well. I didn't know that. There's a while before you can turn into something tiny or something with a fly or swim speed. Um, oh, that's I can probably, right. Fly speed. I, is it? Are these things? Thir is this thirty designate that they're thirty feet up? Uh, the, yes, well, they are thirty feet math. up. If I, because if I destroy one of them, Fritz can fly. I can chuck Word or Lara <laughs> in, in smaller form up there, and you Possibly. guys can take it. I'm throwing another. I Gosh darn it! Someone. Uh, oh, that's buddy. a nine. You... It goes a little wide. It pings against the wall. Just boom, boom, boom. Just lands right up there. You want me to throw one? <laughs> well, no, I, I, I'm pretty good at I'm pretty good at throwing these. Just, just not. Do you, do you want my javelin? Let me. I have one more personal javelin. Dang okay. it! You throw <laughs> it. Do you want my javelin? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do you How want many me to javelins do, do you have? Um, I mean, I'm uh, pretty good at throwing, I thought, but... Do you want me to take over? I... You guys... <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Uh, I, I pull I out have... a short bow. I, ha I, ha I have, like, a lot of arrows. Yes. They're like oh, tiny javelins. Been and, and I throw them with I... it. We, I, I've right. been wearing this thing the whole time. Since you have... No, but I wanted to javelin. do it. I'm not gonna lie. I want to... I just kind of... For the fucking shits and giggles, I'm like, let me try, Fritz buddy. Throw. Fritz, why don't you try? You go ahead and try and hit the. Thing. Um, what is the or range? Maybe of I won't. The oh, range. Maybe I'll just hold on to my arrows. It's thirty not to one hundred and twenty. Yeah, thirty. So the range is thirty. Yeah, you mm. can. Yeah, well, I'll be nice and say you can reach it from there. Okay. You're like. Um. It just means right, that if then. it were outside oh, the thought... range, you'd throw a disadvantage. But I'd say you can get close. You can inch close enough. You throw yeah. it, you ping, it stabs yeah. into it, and <laughs> the thing falls apart and stops spewing its fire. Yay. Ooh. Okay. And well done, Fritz. And this <laughs> yeah. fire stops spewing. I kind spewing. of loosen it up for you. <laughs> there we go. That's rather more manageable. Yeah, now we can... No, two get, more. Get <laughs> well, no, you can, you can, Fritz, you can fly up to yeah. get up there, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I, DM? Yes, you can. This room is pretty tall, and this thing is 30 feet up. That's what the 30 is over here. Uh, do, you Fritz, want, do you want me to bring pick me someone up? up or, uh, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> okay, we can. Here we go. Pick up word if you wish. Word. <sighs> well, we did this before. Yes, but it's a little less climatic when I'm not, <laughs> you know, chucking you. Can I, it's more fun to, like... You know, I had a football like state like little dream when that happened. I think it awoken I... something in me. Um, oh. but I see. I'll, I'll I'll just like I'll like pick you up on my, like my talons like on your shoulders, <laughs> and I like pull you up here. All right, you're both up there, and you can see when you're up here, you can see that these <laughs> uh, machines have a mechanism on their back. It seems to be a lever of some kind that seems to be turned on. Mm. Ah. I. Mm. I... Yeah, I'll pull the lever. You pull the lever, <laughs> pull and the it's lever in a turbo mode. It deactivates the fire, <laughs> and I assume you do both. Congratulations. Yeah. I was yes. really hoping to <laughs> slash that open, but yeah. Let's go gather their treasure. High five. And I go oh. over there. <laughs> <laughs> you left me hanging. Bro. What? 
I went to go high five and you won't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. He's like no, fully like in his funny. own zone. Fritz is just like high five as you're walking away. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought you were insulting my height. I did not. <laughs> so you go into that room. You can see this hallway. And as you go in, you can see the hallway leads to a room with a couple of chests and illusory archers kind of standing mm. watch, but it not looking up, looking south in that direction. Mm. Oh. So we mm. have circled around. You can see there's a stairway we, we as well. We accidentally cheated. Yep, and uh, you can see that there's a ledge that is 30 feet down. You can see right here, I'm just moving the piece so you mm. can see it. And there's a staircase leading down those 30 feet as well. And two chests. Mm. Okay. Um, I have so, a What do you see, word? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The goods. And I walk up to the chest and I like stab both of them with, with my dagger. You're gonna stab it with your dagger first. Yeah. All right, give me an attack. Okay. Uh, Don't damage what's inside. <laughs> Did that work? Oh, it's that. Okay, hey. you stab it. It seems to be made of hard wood. However, you hear a, a king as you hear like you've broken some glass by stabbing inside. Oh, no! I didn't think my dagger was that long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I go stab the other one, but, like, I'll try and, and stab, like, I guess higher to where I wouldn't maybe hit anything that's sitting in the, the belly of it. Mm. Okay, give me another attack. Okay. And you're aiming higher. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. You much stab worse. a little bit higher, and you kind of stumble a bit, and sprain your wrist a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> this thing seems to be made out of real wood as well. Good enough for me. But you don't pierce and I'll, 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 Yeah, I'll crack both of them open and look at my my broken egg, <laughs> you, my spilt milk. You crack them both both open and inside the first one, you can see that there was another set of potions, except one of them, the mana potion, has now been shattered. The other one, oh. the health potion, is still there. You, do, you can add a potion of healing. <laughs> And inside this okay. one, you see that there is a scroll of jump. Okay. Mm. Nice. I grab that. Yep. And I walk. I walk back to the party, assuming that they've either gone through the portal or like. Um... And over there, you can also see the rest of this room. You can see that there are some illusory warriors oh. waiting for you to come through the door below. <laughs> but uh, you're no. behind them. <laughs> We're good. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we reconvene and go through the portal? Yeah. yeah. Portal time? Portal, portal time. time. Portal time. Now we're thinking. Hey. Zoom. All <laughs> right. Shut it down. Buck's gone through the portal. You go through. Oh, I thought that's what we were doing. Oh, are you going through the portal? Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, I, I've already made that decision, I guess. I guess All we're right. as assuming it goes to that one? Yep, it does. Shoop. The first straightforward portal sends you to the Shoop. next room. Well done. Yay. Where's Word? Word, you coming? What? Oh yeah, sorry, I was uh, <laughs> look looking at looking at something. I was reading a did piece you, of paper. Crying over spilt mana potion. <laughs> <laughs> did you find anything? Did you find anything? Uh, d just a just an empty piece of paper and some juice. Okay, Can I like I trust side you eye you? <laughs> like, <laughs> I know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I side eye you back, like don't mention it. <laughs> Slightly stained by the mana potion that you killed. <laughs> Why are you blue? <laughs> it's like those anti-theft things in department stores. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys, right. I presume, are going to open that door into the next room. Yeah. And as you do, expand the dungeon. you see a large room, that a three-way hallway. One heading north seems to have two uh, magical locks kind of Ooh. blocking the path and two paths, east and west. Hmm. And Elias' voice speaks up again. Alinthi will test your metal that you may wane your spirit until you are not but a breeze against its many trials. Well, that's encouraging. Um... um We've got two directions. Do you want to flip a coin on it, or? Mm. I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> Word, do you want to do something with those locks? Oh. Are we Scooby-Dooing do, it? I, I, do <laughs> have, 
Uh, I do have thieves tools. You do have thieves tools. All right. You do yeah. see that when you walk up to it. these locks that they seem to glow with an arcane energy. Mm, that just means they're going to pop when I do it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it a sleight of hand check? Do you, you wish to pick the lock? I'm going to try, so. yeah. Okay. Give me... Assuming that, like, the loose familiarity with spells that augment locks, they just make it harder, and I know how to work through them. All but... right. You may. Hmm. Give me a sleight of hand. Ooh. All right. 19. You pick and pick and pick, and you hear ka but also... It zaps you back as you are picking it. You were like picking at it, and this thing really didn't want you to get it, but you do unlock it. So, huh. you That's unlock it, but it do. zaps you, and you take. Fly back. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Uh, God's be Ooh. merciful. 20, that's Ooh. a nat 20. Whoa, it, nat 20. it gives you no more than a, like, electrical shock on your finger that s sizzles a little bit. You take two <laughs> lightning damage. Wow. Okay. Well, I got one, but it had a buzzer in it. Ow. I'm like, he's, like, right. shaking his fingers. There's, like, smoke on it. <laughs> Do you want me to keep going? Can we just cheat our way through this? I mean, if that's how we're gonna get all this done, you know, we should stick to our own methods. I'm sure we could, but I'm curious what's down this hallway, so I'm going to check anyway. I'll go Curiosity with Lyra. killed everybody but Wood. Lyra. I'll, oh. I'll stay with Lay Wood in Lay peace. <laughs> he dies. La, 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 <laughs> All right. In case. <laughs> so Lyra, doing it. Lyra's going to yep. check that door, and you check down this hallway, and you can see it leads to a massive room full of stuff. Oh, my God. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. You can see that there are a bunch of illusory archers waiting for your entrance, a few more of those flamethrowers, and one, an arcane key atop a tall, huge pillar that okay. they are being guarded by fire, as well as a ledge leading up to a bunch of boulders where a few more arcane warriors are stationed. Hmm. Boy, I sure am glad Do we, we have check the, the other choice side? between these two groups. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm curious what's down the other hallway. Yeah, that one was kind of exciting. <laughs> Let's yeah. have a look. I'm going Just to feel bad yeah, for Elias if we don't oh, find I, any of these I, nice actually, illusory warriors he's made for us. That is such a genuine cartoon joke to just like <laughs> avoid that and then see it and it's this beautiful, wondrous thing that we are just not doing. It's just like Six a yes or no. Six miles is pretty big, right? <clears throat> yep, it is pretty yeah. big. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm curious where this dragon is. All right, that will spend one spell slot. Yeah, All you right. You never learn if you don't try. Okay, yeah. you know that there is a dragon to the north of you. Okay, I like, awesome. will relay within, that to the rest let's of see, my party. Uh, about, <clears throat> let's see, it's like, oh uh, geez. There's a <laughs> dragon north of you within 200 feet. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I would like to see what's down this left corridor before we go and I don't yeah, know, yeah, try yeah, and pick I that second just... arcane lock or whatever. <laughs> Thank you for being patient with me. I'm sorry. I'm of course, new. you're a new player. It's totally fine. Right. It's yeah. like, to be expected. Absolutely. So you look down this, this portal, or not, yes. not portal. You look down this hallway, okay. and you hear Elias's voice yet again as you see that there's Ooh. a bunch more glass walls oh, and portals. No. And Elias's that voice look. pipes up. Elinthi will test your senses, that it may confuse you and throw you off balance. Huh. And you can see well, that in the center fun. of the room, there is a little slime that is eyeing a key, an arcane key. I am mm. more scared of this room than the fire you... room with yeah, all the archers. This one, this one makes me nervous. <laughs> it does kind of look like you could just walk in and not deal with any of these weird portal things. That's what yeah. scares me about it. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose plan A is trying to pick the arcane lock and get a second nat 20 or whatever. Um, and plan B will be one of these two rooms. Does that does that sound good to everybody? Oh, yeah, w yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm already on it. All right. If you wish to pick that lock as well, Bird, you may roll me a sleight of hand. If I die here, <laughs> you should all kill yourselves. <laughs> oh, my God. Huh? No promises. 17. 17, unfortunately, is not high enough. You pick it, and okay. it zaps you. Make a dex save. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, hey! Another oh, nat twenty. What is the RNG doing today? 
three <laughs> lightning damage as it zaps your hand a little bit harder than the last Ow. one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we can only do one of those. All right, good effort, Word. I'm going to try it. this maze. All that unluck luckiness Hold for on, this moment. Oh. Come. No, I'll just say we'll we'll come with you. Oh, okay. Before. All right. So you're going to head into the maze then. I'm... I feel bad. He makes all these beautiful illusory warriors, and then we just leave. Yeah, I bet you know? Elias would be really sad if you didn't at least participate in some of this dungeon that he so lovingly put together. <laughs> I'm sure Elias is the one who would be sad. Elias would be very yeah. sad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he would thank you for participating, uh, even though you would be within your right to, to solve the problem however you so wish. Look, we, we would just out, out Elias is considerate misses. like that. Yes, of course. Elias does not, does not think less of you for doing things however you so wish well you know elias is the master of this dungeon and it's it's nice that he's so magnanimous about it <laughs> thanks guys elias would <laughs> si simply be miffed so All you right. guys head into this room you can see it's got a bunch of other glass walls that you can see through and there are a bunch of colored portals similar to the ones that you saw earlier but these seem to be color coded and there is a slime in the center of the room Ooh, that feller. is eyeing the oh. Eyeing the key, the arcane key that is right there. My God, it's adorable. And it notices you come in, and it's kind of <laughs> leans a little bit closer to the key and slowly starts to open its mouth. No. Oh. Don't, no. don't do it. No, no, no. 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 Hand. 15, 20, 25, 30. He's too far away. <laughs> no. Can't you bonus action dash? I mean. And as, you, <laughs> as you're saying no, it hesitates for a bit. But then it slowly gets closer to the key. <laughs> no. 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 All right, let's go, to let's go to the base. I right. bet it tastes really bad. <laughs> oh, you you wouldn't like it anyway, uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> tastes like adulting and taxes. All right. So <laughs> when you go into the maze, uh, yep. I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative as the slime swallows the key and it's floating no. around uh, in its little slimy body. Oh, oh, that's buddy. so cute, but so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's my initiative? Oh, yes, plus zero. How could I forget? Oops, I did that wrong. Uh, my God, my first <laughs> over 10 roll. That was. Let's go. Told you the luck's Doing coming great. back. It's happening. Okay. <laughs> wow, we all did pretty well, except... Yeah, no, we all did pretty well. Everything's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except, hold on. What no, do you mean? we're uh, hold everything's on, good. I just caught on to that. No, -uh. <laughs> everything's fine, and we're all doing very well at this. We're going to get a good grade, <laughs> which is normal to want and possible to achieve. All right, mm -hmm. word. Well, the I mean, slime has hold your swallowed the key, <laughs> but you are fast on your feet. You're up first. I am. Um. Okay, I'm going to use my dash action, obviously, uh -huh. to skedaddle. Uh, as I do, and I am, oh fuck, I could have used my ring of certainty on the door. <laughs> <laughs> too late, it's too late, we're in the slime fight now. Yeah. Uh, we're doing the slime. Yeah, there's no way I can just rip it out of there, so I am going to just what? use my, my dig. All right, stab it. Mortal Kombat style. Just... 16. 16 Ooh. is gonna hit, you stab it, what? and you can see some of the slime, wow. and uh, it. you oh, yeah. stab it. And it, you see a bit of slime splash off, and the slime just like looks a little bit angry. Like you can see, it has like faux eyebrows <gasps> oh, at it, no. and it looks a little bit yes. angered. Yes, this is incredible. A little bit angry. That's at gonna you. be not hurt, just angry. <laughs> oh no! Uh, it's seven damage if it yep. matters at all. You stab it, oh, and that? chunks of the slime fall off of it. You do seem to be like digging away, and your your dagger just tings against the uh, the key that you are trying to reach, but it is still Yeah, I'm definitely time. trying to like poke it and hook it and like flip it out if at I'm all sorry. possible. Point of order, wouldn't it be 14? It looks like you did seven piercing and seven sneak attack damage. Sneak attack only, uh, his sneak attack procs when there's some yeah, an ally I, I nearby. I don't think it procced. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there needs uh, to be an ally. Or, or when I have advantage. I or when you I have see. advantage, yes. Busted, I love it. But yeah, anything else you wish to do on your turn? Nope, that was my dash. All right, the slime is going to disengage and start uh -huh. a running. It starts bouncing. There bloop, it is. Bloop, 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 oh, no. Oh, into it's so adorable. this portal. Bloop, bloop. And it appears out here. Shoop. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, okay. And that will okay, be its turn. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's the situation. 
What's the situation? I think this is the first room where we gotta <laughs> split up. And as as the slime is bumping around, you hear Elias' voice yet again. Alinthi will test the strength of your bonds and your sense of self that you may become your own worst enemy. Ooh. What? Boy, that's dark for the fun color-coded yeah. maze part. <laughs> I know. I was like sitting here in baby sensory room. Like, <laughs> Lyra, your turn. Yes. Uh, well, first things first, I'm going to shift so I will become slightly faster because I feel like that's a consideration in this room. Um, what so does your shift I, look like? Uh, I just look slightly more feline than usual, uh, a little bit sharper. You know, the pupils get... Like they were looking really weird after the the blindness effect, but now they're just like full cat slits. Um, and uh, I, I get a little more digitigrade in the leg region, and I have an extra ten feet of movement, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to move up next to this green portal. Oops, just a second. Okay. Thirty five. There we go. So I'm just I'm just posted up next to it. All right. Just, just for now. Anything else? Uh, let's see. That was my, that was my um, bonus action and my movement. Uh, maybe I will hold an action if the slime comes through this portal. And I know that's a long shot. <laughs> uh, I would like to try and grab it. Okay. Sounds like sounds like a good plan. Cool. Buck. Are these glass walls or no? They are glass walls. You can see the whole room. Okay. Uh, that being the case... Hmm. Hmm. If I can go here. I use my action to dash and then I'm going to go through here. So okay, you go through that portal and it makes you end up zoop, over here. Uh, can I use my lat? Uh, so if I go through here, I'll still have 10 feet of movement yep. to do that. Yep. After dashing. Do you so wish do to that. go through there? I do wish to go through there. And you oh. end up right on the slime's tail if it had one. Yeah! Oh. Uh, so I have 10 feet of movement, so I should be able to go here and here to get between it. Ah, okay. Uh, and with my bonus action... Uh, I would like to believe in the heart of the cards. Yes. And Ooh. reach down to my belt to the to the uh, deck. And I've got a lot of stuff that can be helpful. Not everything is helpful for this, but I would like to rage and use um. my wild uh, surge rage <laughs> okay. table. Okay. Well, Show I us the wild to... surge rage. Oh, lady luck, be merciful. Ooh, <laughs> okay. magic weapon. Uh, so I can, so this is an interesting thing that I can do. I now can like Thor's hammer throw my uh, uh, any of my weapons because they all become light and with a thrown property. So I can take Big Blind, my two-handed weapon, and just chuck it uh, if I would like to do that, ah, and it I returns see. to me. Okay, that nice. would be so cool um, if we weren't fighting a tiny slime. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, <laughs> I have that as long as my rage lasts. So um, yeah, okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but. <laughs> C'est la vie. Fritz. Uh, okay. Okay. Your turn. Um, so that, uh, your that was the one I was hoping not to get. Ooh. <laughs> um, Still very cool. Two. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's 40 feet. Um, okay. I'm gonna... Oh, I can use dash, though, can't I? You can. You gotta make sure you go around the uh, stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I get the feeling you, you can, can fly You can hold walls. it and then right-click on the ground to make, like, a pivot point. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Fancy. So, 20 and 50 with dash gives me an extra 30. Yeah, I have. I'm fine. Um, I'm going to walk over and use my dash and hold on this red one here. Ah, you're going to hold on the mm -hmm. red one. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm watching in case because I feel like it might squirm past you and go run to that red. I'm a bit worried. Catcher's pose. Word. Yeah. Yes. I... Hold on. Let me see the uh boss, what are we looking boss, at? boss, 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 boss. Boss, 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 boss. boss. <laughs> 30. <laughs> what are you? Uh yeah, if I actually use angles, I can I can race over there. 
so I can end up right there because I have the powerful, powerful speed. Parkour. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to take another dagger swipe at him. Okay, give me another dagger swipe. This time, you will have your sneak yes. attack. Yep, that'll do it. You stab hey, it. I do. A bigger chunk of slime falls off the thing. Wait, actually. Okay. I feel so bad. Yeah, the slime I, is so cute. Me too. It bro. is. Uh, because I'm a kobold, I also have pack tactics, but that didn't get me anything right here. Okay, that's so, yep, you stab yeah, into it and uh, another chunk of slime. Take the first damages. It's, it's struggling. <laughs> it's like... The key is barely being held in the uh, gelatin that it has now. It's like not a lot left. No. Oh. We want that key. <laughs> Next is the slime's turn. The slime is going to disengage. No. And bounce, bounce, doom, doom, doom. Oh, into no. this red portal. Shoop, boing. And shows oh, up right in goes. front of Fit, Fritz. <gasps> oh, and hello. It, get it, Fritz. it like get it, get it, get bumps it. into you and just like in shock. <laughs> <laughs> and starts to go this way, but it's out of movement speed. Oh, I can't believe I predicted that. Let's go. Yeah. Play rough. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I probably should have just done this at the beginning. Uh, I would like to cast Entangle on the slime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see Entangle. Uh, yes, just a moment. Uh, okay, yeah. 20 foot square. Uh, yes, and it... Your DC is... It's only uh, 12 for a strength save. Um, so let me just cast it. Okay, yep. And that's going to be enough. Does it deal any damage? Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. Um, okay. Yeah, it just turns it into difficult terrain, and it restrains a creature that doesn't make its strength save. Okay, I presume you want the entangle to look like this. Yes, Very I don't want to hit Fritz. I, yes. I just want to get the slime... And Entangled, the slime ideally. is stuck. Yes, yes, okay, nice. cool. Uh, then I'm going to sort of saunter over into its general direction. <laughs> yep. 30, oh, nope, 35, 40, there we go. And then we can just, um, so that was my action to cast the spell, that was my movement. I'm gonna assume extracting the key is going to be more than a bonus action, so I will just post up <laughs> and hang out. Buck, unfortunately your rage is over because you didn't get to hit anything. No. Oh no, it's at the end, the end of my last turn. Oh, I maybe. Thought. Never mind. I yeah. don't exactly know how rage works. You probably it's, know it better than your I. Your rage lasts for one minute. It ends early if you are knocked unconscious, or if your turn ends and you haven't attacked a hostile creature since your last turn. Okay, or never mind. Damage my mistake. Yeah, ignore, so, ignore so if me. I can get through, if I can get through this turn without ending, I'm aware that it's gonna probably end. Um, <laughs> but uh, I have enough. I have enough to get through. Yes. And still have my action in place. Yes. Assuming that I, I assuming that I go come out here. Do, you is do. that a fair yes, assumption? That is correct. Okay. Um. Uh. Although I do not have to throw it, uh, I will just regular try to regular attack with. You will uh, have advantage since this thing is entangled. Ooh, nice. Nice. Yep, that'll be enough. You smash it. <laughs> And it's actually 18 now, because it's because I, I don't know how to add the rage yeah, to it, but I do get plus two the because I'm raging. The slime splatters right. into a little pool, and the key oh. is knocked free. And the slime, uh, the little pools of slime bits just reform somewhere else, and the slime just sticks a fake tongue at you and bu jumps away. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Why, I oughta, you get back. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you guys have the arcane key. Congratulations. Huzzah! Huzzah! Yeah. All right, shall we go back to the lock? Sure. Yeah, let me... I think so. Right. Word. I don't want to be the one to put it in there, though. Boom. <laughs> uh, you know right. what's funny? What's up? I was, what's funny? Because I, I, I don't understand my class. I've been trying to think of ways to do things without fighting, and I was fully ready to pull... You know when you have a dog and you have to hand <laughs> something nicer to them? I was ready to pull out my, like, pack of tattoos and be like, tattoos for key. <laughs> you know, that's like, oh, uh. mm -hmm. I think like, oh, gross, get it, squish. The I thing will. is, like, we, we've tried not to fight things this turn, but, like, we're not bad at that. Like, we could have been fighting stuff. We just... I don't know, we were like, eh, taking damage sounds hard. Yeah. <laughs> with uh, with the arcane key in your possession, uh, when you put it into the lock, both form into a bright kind of blue light and vanish together. Hmm. And the path is now open. Forward. All right, let's go. 
I do want to say once again, it was very kind of the dragon to provide us two rooms. Unfortunately, we didn't explore one of them, but it was yeah. very nice of them. And it I does really look interesting. It. I, I, word, it would be disingenuous of me to not tell you that there is at least one treasure chest in that room we didn't go into. I'm, I'm going to guess that it's a mimic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> could be. All right. So you guys head upwards to the next room down the hallway. Dang right. Ooh. Oh, Which wait, how far are we going? Is a staircase <laughs> leading up and up and up until oh you see oh my goodness, a this... large arena full of Word. <laughs> <laughs> full of boulders, portals, flamethrowers, arcane warriors, and Elias in the center in some less than formal wear. It, he's, in his pajamas. <laughs> he's in his pajamas. Oh, he's in his pajamas. <laughs> he's I sensed you. In pajamas. <laughs> I sensed you. And he oh, notices you come, uh, oh, kind of wa- making your way in. Walking and fast. he lifts one hand and gives a friendly smile. Ah, there you are. Finally, you've arrived. Well done, coming the Swar Pilgrims. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the layout of the temple. I worked very hard on it. Yes. Yeah, it, we it loved every nice. room and every every challenge. Yeah, we explored that, that everything. We yeah, yeah. Uh, no worries. I was keeping an eye on you, and the fact that you have your own methods of solving problems is good and important. You're bringing new ideas to Satya and Alinthi as a whole, and new ideas are what allow us to progress and make this place as prosperous as it is. But this will not be the end, for I will be your final challenge. Before you leave Satya. Oh, no. For Elenthi will test your character, that it may not crush only your body, but your soul. Hmm. And as he says this, he transforms into his dragon form once more. Oh, boy. And he lands on the tall pillar that he is, he is perched upon, and he calls out to you, Defeat me, pilgrims, and show me how you mean to overcome the trials the world would throw at you. And you guys oh. may position yourselves at the bottom of the stairs before we roll this initiative. G- yep, there this it is. Genuinely got real. Hey. Just, yep, up there. Oh, at the bottom. Oh, oh wow. you want to start the, the top? The, the or top. The... Sorry, I'm. Oh, I, okay. oh you yeah. said bottom. Sorry. I, I did say this bottom. Is okay. I'm mixing up my anyway. Wait, I mean, can I... we can we be like over here? Yes, or... you may orient yourself okay. anywhere on this first row of squares. Whoa! Oh, my I'm first go... nat twenty, and it's for initiative. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, I didn't give you the initiative order. I'm so sorry. I will. You can have oh. your first uh, your first roll though. Oh, did that work? Oh man, that oh, music. Darn it! <laughs> it's okay. You can oh. yeah. You can get your first straight one. banger. Oh, yeah, I got my. Oh, for crying out loud! There it is. My first okay. one was a my first one was a nine. I don't want to. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be. Yeah, there oh, we go. Man. Dang right, that first one was a net twenty, and I'm not gonna let anybody forget it. Yeah, uh, the, the reverse of what happened with Necro Hunt, where they fought a dr- dragon at the end of the campaign. Now they're fighting a dragon at the beginning of the campaign. Hey, yeah. gotta mix it up hey. a little bit. Well, now they're right. giving us a dungeon and a dragon. You yes. Know? So, first up will be Word. Whoa, wait, wow. hold on. Buck and so I got both got nat 20. 20s on initiative. Uh, that was I, oh, you're right. I, my first one was a nine, yeah. Yeah, that was sad. I wasted oh, it. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. But, okay. firstly, I'm only a little sad. Word. Your turn. What do you All wish right. to do? I'm going to whip out my short bow and lay into big uh, grandpa pajamas. All right. So I'm going to <laughs> grandpa rush up here, get a good <laughs> Good line of sight, and let's do it. One of those. Ooh, yeah! Yep. You throw the Dirty dagger, Torte. kind of through the flames into him. Just er, sh- no, it's a short bow. Oh, short bow. Oh, it's a dagger. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you short bow is probably the same stats. Oh, anyway. I did. Yes, yeah. it is. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> that's bad. fine. That's fine. Yes, you fire it. It go. It passes through the flame and lodges into Elias just a little bit. He seems unfazed by it, but nevertheless, you did make a little bit of a dent. All right. I rolled the same damage that it did, so we're good. Nice. Anything else? Uh, that was my action, my bonus, act, or my move action. So, 
Uh, I'm going to dive into the water and okay. use my cunning action to hide. Okay. Mode. You're going to hide? Give me a stealth check. Yes. As a, a 10. 10. All right. To hide cool. from, from a dragon. <laughs> and the uh, illusory warriors that are on all four corners of the map. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the water, I will say, is 10 feet deep, and it is on ground level. That is what this GL okay. means. That is ground level. Mm. Mm. And you can see on each pillar, there is also a measure of how tall they are from the ground level. I see. All right. right. Next, yeah. Lyra. Yes. Um, just, it's a little hard to see. Are these pillars 10 feet up? They are 10 feet uh, up, yes. Okay. I'm still shifted. Um, if I go straight to my right, uh, would I take fire damage or would it just be? I will like a be close? generous and say no. You're like at okay. the cusp of the flame. Cool. It will be very That's... hot though. Uh, good to know. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, and uh, I have 20 feet remaining. Would that let me scale up to the top of this tower? It most certainly would. 40. All right. So, so that's my movement. You are standing just at the edge as this boulder is like taking up all the space. But there right. is a an arcane warrior next to you, an illusory warrior. Cool. Then I would like to cast Flame Blade. Ooh. We had a long rest. Ooh. I got to prepare new spells. Heck yeah, um, Flame Blade. Mm. You yes. slash with the fiery blade and it goes through the illusory warrior that starts to fizzle a little bit, like blinking in and out as you have done okay. a little bit of damage at it. Awesome. Uh, it looks like it's concentration, so I just keep the flame blade for as long as I can hold that. I see. Um, so that was bonus action to summon it, action to make a melee spell attack. Uh, and also it works as a torch, so that's good to know. Uh, so I think that's my turn. Yeah, you certainly needed light in this room. Anyway, yes. <laughs> next is Elias' More turn. fire, that's what this dungeon was crying out for. Elias' turn, uh, as well as the illusory warriors. Uh, this one did notice you were to go into the water, so it is going to push the boulder. Ah! Oh no! And it is going to fall towards you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. A lot of those this dungeon. As it falls boom, into the water. Me swim. You swim. All right, that's pretty good. As it as it just squeezes you between the walls and itself, you are going to take. <laughs> Seven bludgeoning damage as it sinks to the oh, bottom. Just oh, I am no. really going through the ringer here. <laughs> and you see like like a bit of blood just kind of swell up in that part of the pool. Oh no. <laughs> Lifeguard on duty. Lifeguard on duty. And this one is going to do the same with this boulder. It comes over here, still oh. within you hey. range of you, Lyra, so you don't proc attack of opportunity. And it is going to push this boulder this way to fall on Buck. Buck, make hey. a dexterity oh. saving throw as it falls. I don't need to do anything Ooh. to avoid that, do I? No, you don't. Whoa. You just you Good. just snake aside, and okay, it cool. pff, falls and crumbles into like cracks down the middle, uh, and you're uh, able to avoid pretty much the whole thing. A few bits of like debris kind of catch you, and the shaking throws you off balance. You take two damage. Nice. This one is going to hold its shot. This one's going to hold its shot, and Elias is going to look at you, Fritz, and tilt his head a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, little one. It appears your friends may have abandoned you. And he's going what? to hey. shoot a little bit of a fire at you, Fritz. <laughs> we Ooh. were told not to stand together. It Great. was tactical. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't Goodbye. have any reactionals. Life is pain. So that is going to hit you, you a said... fire bolt. Fritz, did you say you had absorb elements? Ooh, yes. Oh. But it's That's not a thing reaction. you can do. It's not a reaction. It is a reaction. Right? Oh, wait, it's just sure one. It is. Oh, wait, yeah. One hour. Yeah. yeah. Can I? You, thank you. You can use your reaction. I didn't have you may. Yeah. I misread that. Can Thank you for backseating me there a little bit. The spell yes. will capture some of no, the incoming worried. energy, lessening its effect. Uh, you have That's resistance. The power of teamwork. Uh, on your next turn, the target. Yep. So, yes, you will reduce the fire damage you take by three, and nice. you will also have resistance to fire. Uh, so. You will take one damage as it just poof, kind of fizzles off at you. Yes. And uh, yes. Elias yeah. just tilts his head and like, oh, impressive. <laughs> he just yells out as his voice echoes throughout the halls. There were others in the tournament whose dreams are now unfulfilled. Can you say yours are more deserving, more true? 
and that will be his turn. Oh, Fritz. Oh, boy. Grandpa Jim Jam's going to the heart okay. with that one. Okay. Um... Word just got whacked. He's not pinned or anything, right? No, he's not. No, the, I just got The rock sank whacked. to the bottom. Okay. Curious. Now, this might be me thinking a bit weird. If I shoot through the fire, will it become a flame arrow? Mm, Breath of the Wild rules. Or does it just dissipate? I will say no, because there are flames specific. Actually, that sounds cool. It'll have a little bit of flame on it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm yes. trying to use the arena. Yeah. Not like, I'm not thinking like it burns them, then I will, but you know. I will say spicy. yes and retroactively say that that happened to Word's Arrow as well, because I hadn't considered that. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm I'll add that use... damage to Elias as well. My movement. It would be very to... minimal because it's, you know, makeshift fire arrow, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. More, I'm going to move my movement to kind of stand up on the stairs here. Okay, okay. And then I am going to fire my crossbow at this dude. Okie dokie. Show me the crossbow. In front of me. Ooh. Ooh. That will be enough. Ooh. You fire it ah. and it sh just like thump, lodges into it. Wait. Uh, before it falls to the ground as the illusion is flickering a little bit. Also, I believe after you do absorb elements, yeah, that's that... what I was looking at. Yeah, it's it your instills melee. your it... next attack with something. Oh, yeah. it's your next it's melee attack. Some of the next, oh, yeah. okay. So the next time you physically whack somebody like close range. Oh, melee attack. Melee oh, attack. buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy, you better not even get close to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got spice. <laughs> I'm a spicy bird lady. You don't want to fly up to that pillar? Oh, I. <gasps> Wait. Uh... So you only have to fly up 10 feet, so that would use 10 feet mm -hmm. of your flying, and then move forward 15, so that would be 25. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to come up close to you. Hey, yo. All right. Yep. You are next to the nice. illusory warrior. Hold on. And that's my turn, I think. Next, Buck, you narrowly avoided a boulder. Completely, mostly yeah. unscathed. But I'm not pushed over to any side, am I? Nope, you are not. Okay. Uh, I would like to use me movement. I don't know if I can do this or if I can only get here, which I'll go here. All right. Uh, As you run up there, make a wisdom mm -hmm. saving throw. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There's an arcane Mod circle underneath uh. you that procs and explodes. <laughs> And 15, you are going to take three radiant damage, but you are not blinded, luckily. You're fine. Okay. Yes. Nice. As a uh, bright flash of light engulfs you. Let me tell you one thing about Buck. He's a gambling sort of man, so I'm going to use my action to dash. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's ten feet. Uh-huh. And I'm... And, and with that one, I... you end up here, next yes. to the flamethrower. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I really, so is, I think you said earlier, did you say what it's going to take to turn this off? There's a lever, right? There's a lever. I'll say a free action. You just, like, flip a switch. Can I, can I free action flip the switch? You most certainly can. Foof, and the fire goes out. Ah. Nice. Um, with my remaining movement, uh, can I climb, I think I have 20 feet, so I should be able to, can I climb up here? to You get, most certainly can. I know he's, I know he's 10 feet up. You have um, bugbear arms. Yeah. Ooh, I do have bugbear arms. That's true. Mm. Yep. You can climb up there. Another you have thing arms about, like I have in real life. Another thing about Buck is that <laughs> he does swimming. sort of believe in the heart of the cards, and so I do <laughs> want to does. reach down to the belt and grab a blank card to see what gift from Lady Luck I have. Oh, boy. You, you've to... also got your magic item. Don't forget about that. My oh, yeah, the magic coin. Gun? The coin the that coin? gives you nat ones, nat twenties. Right, I understand that I have that. I'm not. I don't want to. Okay. I don't think that matters. I only have a D8 for my for my yeah. uh, gotcha. uh, wild magic. But I understand I have that. I've never yeah. forgotten that I have. That. <laughs> uh, I will never forget that I have. Uh, Good. Here we go. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that's okay. That's not. That could be this is way worse. Good. That's actually uh, awesome. the so I, so I, so I, I grab I grab a blank card and I say, yeah, I say, nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> and then he's older than me. And then I and then I have to teleport. Yep. Um, you can actually teleport somewhere that like you're not standing on ground. You so you could literally teleport. appear like flying behind him. You can teleport to uh, his platform. 
Can I teleport yeah. up behind him? Like literally? Yeah, yeah exactly. Literally, literally, literally like, like an enemy. Behind you. Vroom, and then I am behind him. Yep. Um, oh, so cool. Uh, and I had, can use that as a bonus action for as long as my rage ends. But that's the end of my turn, so I have to end my turn there. Okay. Because I don't have anything awesome. else. Wonderful. Truly Word, incredible. your turn. Blunderful. You are under oh, the boy, water. It seems as though do? hiding there did not do well to hide it your yourself. really did not. All right, step one, because I have nine hit points, I'm going to pop open and drink um, mm. that health potion. Let me see. I think you can do it and be on 20. Yep, there you go. Hey! Hey, okay. not bad. Hey. I mean, not great, but uh, that's, just about well, dead average. <laughs> Literally mid. <Yeah. laughs> mid, <laughs> mid roll. <laughs> I'm perfect. I am healthy. Um, and I think that is like an action to fully drink a potion. So I'm going you to... You know, I have, a, I have a homebrew rule where potions are a bonus action. That makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. chum, um, chum, chum. Other other use items are full actions, but I like potions being bonus actions. And I like being not close to a dragon, mm -hmm. so I'm going to go over here. Ooh, all right. Uh, that actually, there, or? going yeah, in this teleporter oh, will make yeah. you There's end up here. One. And I'm going to need you ah. to make a wisdom ah. saving throw. Oh, God, no, boy. No, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> As there's nah. a sigil there. I'm blind. And boom, it explodes into a bright light. You take four radiant damage and are blinded. This is I a rough can't day do for anything. Word. <laughs> okay, shoot. Is there anything else you wish to do, Ward? Still have your full action, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I do. Yeah, that was my move. That was a saving throw. Uh, oh, jeez, I can't do a lot. Could attack uh, while ooh. blinded. <laughs> okay, I am going to cast Unseen Servant. And I'm going to tell them to turn off the two levers. Oh! With these things. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Magic! Interesting. <laughs> Magic. Nice. Uh, I don't have anything yeah. for the Unseen Servant, so I'm just going to give uh, a. Well, little that would be good. Cobalt see. token mm. yeah, yeah, right yeah. here. <gasps> All right. Yeah, he definitely, like, in my mind, takes the form of, like, a really tiny kobold. <laughs> yes. Like the kind good. of devil on your shoulder kobold. Oh, that's so cute. And, yep. It goes to act uh, to pull the lever and boom, that fire goes out. Nice. Awesome. Nice. And then as a bonus action, I can tell him to put out the other one next turn. But yep. that's my turn. Next yeah. turn. All right. Sweet. Lyra. Yeah. I'm going to take a second swing with my flame blade at the uh, arrow guy that is right next to me. Um, let me just uh, figure out how to... Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how to roll this when I can't just cast it again. Uh, maybe? Ooh, yep, that'll hit. Cool. Oh, you hit and uh. you slice it, and you can see it dissipate when puffs into a smoke. You've defeated oh, so cool. that illusory warrior. Okay, so that was my, that was just my attack action, so I still have my movement. Um, yeah, ugh, do I want to close with the, yes, yes I do. So I'm just going to, uh, just a second. There we go. All right. Five. Uh, dropping down 10 feet. Does that take 10 feet of my movement? Uh, yes. To carefully drop right. down. Yes. 15, and not take fall damage. 20, 25, 30. Yep. So that pops me out on the other one. Right All there. Right. Yep. Cool. Uh, and then I can uh, spend my last 10 feet to climb up 40. You most certainly can. Great. Well uh, that was my that was my action and my movement, and I don't have a pertinent bonus action. I oh wait. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fire off uh, a bomb of the summer court as a bonus action to word. So that's one d six healing. Um, Ooh. Let me just. Uh, hmm. I, I, will it let me do it just with one d six? Yes. Uh. That All right, well, that's two hit points. Um, to Word? Uh, yep. All right, Word. Every bit counts, and it doesn't take a spell slot. What do I do? You gain two uh, you hit You get points. two hit points back. Yes, I'm up to 14. <laughs> this is so oh, scary. Why oh, are we no. level three? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. All right. All right, that's my turn. Indeed. Next is Elias's turn, and he is going to... Brandish his wings and flap and fly to another location, which Buck gives you an attack of opportunity. Oh, come on, man. Oh, oh come on. Please. Uh, go, 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 catch it, Buck Lady arms. Luck. Come on. Oh! Yes! Oh! What is happening? Oh! 
that's right. that's also plus an additional two for uh plus an for additional raging. two. Wow. For rage. Wow. You take a well, chunk Nelly. out of Elias and he winces Jeez. a little bit. And he goes I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not quite done because I've got some stuff for Crusher. So I can Whoa. move him five feet. Um can I move him? Can I keep him from like keep him where he is for five feet? Oh, sentinel for style. Oh, reduce his movement like, by like, five yeah, feet. Yeah, so so I know he's he, correct. Yeah, yeah soft, soft sentinel. sentinel. Reduce his movement by five. I'm gonna feet. I'm gonna say you do something different, uh, because it's not quite sentinel, and he's gonna fly away. He's a big guy, so you do something uh -huh. different, because the cool factor and you critted. I'm gonna say this is oh. what happens. He goes to lift off, and you hit him in the hind leg throwing off his balance, and he goes and hits against the wall and goes prone. Whoa. Ooh, he did not oh, have a smooth oh. takeoff. He lands into the grease. <clears throat> I will say, I wanted to let you know, I, I guess this doesn't matter if he's if he's prone, but what I will say, Joe, is the for the crusher feat that I have, when I get a critical uh -huh. that deals bludgeoning damage, attack rolls against that creature are made with advantage until the start of Wow. Uh, my next turn. Yeah, wow. your next turn. All right. So well, that's only Fritz. That's only Fritz who would be able to get to make advantage of that technically. But um, either way, so, yeah. Uh, that's true. Yeah, but we'll still. say we'll say his quote unquote prone is the the visual indicator of you crushing him and yes. getting that crit. Yeah. Next is going to be the illusory warriors who notice Buck attacking the main target are all going to train their arrows at you. Oh boy! Oh, one. No. And two of them are going to land as you see these smoky arrows. Just phew, 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 and two of them phew, phew, land into you. And they disappear almost immediately as they strike you. You take 12 piercing damage. Oh, is that Ooh. is that halved because I'm raging? Yes, actually it is because you're raging. Oh, you take goodness. six. Oh, Ooh, oh nice. okay. I thought that was... <laughs> oh, okay. Damn. Well, we know yeah. Word, Damn, please stay clear of this. Oh, sorry. Buck. Uh, yeah, it, it hits Buck. Yeah. No. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I thought it was hitting me. I thought you said that they were trained on me. That's why I was... No, okay. no, no. But yeah, I assumed no. it was fired. And Elias, So I took six damage. You took okay. six piercing damage. And Elias is going to flap his wings just like to try and blow the fire where he thought Lyra was over here as he flaps his wings and... And pushes the fire, wow. but you are not there anymore. And he notices wow, that weird. you are quick on your feet. Yeah, dang right. He calls right. out, The people of the provinces are on your side at your beck and call to fulfill the quest. Can you say your journey will even be an accomplishment? Huh. Fritz, your turn. Yeah. Uh, so, I guess I will be in flight. I kind of just like I flew up here mm -hmm. and then yep. just bounced back off again. Whoosh. And yep. Oh, I don't need to be that close actually. Hold on. Sorry, I'm to like melee, thinking. You would. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do melee. Thank you for reminding me. My brain, uh, not much sleep. Okay, oh. it will have Hi. an attack of opportunity at you, and it's gonna try and stab you with its like arrow shaft. It misses, of course, as you are too mm -hmm. swift. Too swift. Nice. Too speedy. And now you can attack will... with advantage. Oh. A 15 will hit. Yeah. Yes, you go and slash, and how much is the damage that you deal from the extra element? Nice. That's pretty good. As you slash at him, and the, the, his wound singes as you burn him a little bit. So nice. That's, that's, 10, 10. that's 10 damage on Elias as he winces a little bit. But then he looks down at the grease below you, and oh, no. he is oh, formulating a plan. Don't you do it. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't do that other grease room. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, it's okay. I'm in the air. I don't know how high up this is going to go. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, um, I'm going to walk <laughs> yeah. 10, and then I can teleport 30. You most certainly as can. As a bonus action. Can I get here? How, uh, I know I'm up 20, so I don't know how far I, you so allow me to get. So you can teleport there. You'll just be 30 feet up in the air, and you could take, oh, no. you could take 3d6 falling damage. Hey, I thought D&D &D didn't do trigonometry. Uh, <laughs> Why can't you just go, go to the ground? Can I go here uh, and then be on the ground? or Splash I don't know. Splash into the water. Because if you still have your like, movement can I speed on top of that. Oh, yeah, just, you, can, yeah like, you can move down with your movement speed and use yeah. your teleport to go there safely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So that's 
So I, it was 10 to get here, and then it would be what to get here? 20, the rest of my movement? yeah, 20. Yeah, so okay. you would splash right. into the water, and then you can use your teleport to reach right here safely. Yeah. Ooh, and I also I have reach, so I don't have to be too close. I would like to stand in the water if this <laughs> is about to be... Stay in the water be, where it's uh, safe. <laughs> if this is, yeah, if this is about to burst into flame, and then I will try once again uh, to this hit This isn't a boss fight, it's a pool party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just and that's nine because it's I'm so <laughs> all right. right. Yes, you you reach far from the water to and you catch him just like in kind of the back of the leg again. And he just, oh, that one already <laughs> hurts. <laughs> DM. I like the way that you've drawn him makes it look like he is taking an attack right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can still I, I can do the crusher thing where I move five feet anytime once per turn when I hit someone with a thing that does bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Can I um, move him five feet closer to... Oh, no, he's actually too big for me to... Ooh, I realize that now. Uh, uh. He's too big for me to do that because he's more than two sizes. He's more than one size larger, so I can't move him. Never mind. Forget okay. I said that. That's fine. Um, and I realize now that... I realize that now after you already did the cool thing you know for what? the nat 20. It, um, it was a nat 20. I think it was cool it was enough to 20. warrant it. Okay. Yeah. All right. For, for the future, two, I cannot move him. So I just the nine damage. Yeah, I appreciate you knowing yeah. that now. Your honesty. I Truly a noble heart. Until just now. So, <laughs> then that would be Word's turn now, yeah? Oh, my goodness. Word, uh, you may yeah. use a wisdom save to see if you are still blinded. I would love to do that. Shake it off, big guy. Oh, boy. Not enough, work. sadly. Aww. You're still blinded. All right. I theatrically hold my eyes and do like a three-point turn and then fall backwards into the water. <laughs> right, uh, but before I do that, I will tell my little pseudo kobold servant, uh, my invisible, uh, what's his name? Yeah, my unseen servant, his name is Chat. Ah. And he is going to go <laughs> oh 15 gosh. feet. Oh my gosh, 15. So, yeah, he can only go over there, but on the next turn, he's going to pull that button unless I lose concentration. And then uh, I'll use my move action to swim roughly over here. Yep. And then I will use my general action to stealth. Stealth. All right. Mm. Yeah. 13. Uh, that works. Let's see if anybody notices that. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. It's like we saw. I'm, I hope I am. We saw him do they the really cool the like dive, but then he just yeah. disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Then he wasn't there anymore. He's gone. Will that be your turn then? Yeah, that's everything I can do. Leira, your turn. Ah, Dread. I was considering healing word, but I have no idea where he went. Okay. Um, <laughs> What's uh, your passive? <laughs> my passive perception is like 12. I think you are hidden from me. No! <laughs> yeah, mine um, is you're the that. only person I'm hidden from. <laughs> oh, I just okay. don't know. Uh, all right, let's see. I, I was going to go turn off that thing, too, cause that's, but it's fine. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna stay up here in case Grandpa Jim Jams relocates again. I'm gonna go here, and uh, he is within range for me to just thorn whip, because mm. I may as well. It's a cantrip. I can do it as many times as I want. Heck yeah. Oh, uh, boy, a whole one very damage. Very nice. You whoosh, just, like, <laughs> barely scrape his scales. Yeah, that's generous considering I don't know if an 11 would hit him anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, that is an 11. Never mind. I, uh, no, that doesn't hit. Yeah, you don't even yeah, do anything. Yeah, yeah. So mistake. I, uh, well, I tried. Okay, so that was my, that was a movement. Um, a cantrip is an action. Uh, yeah, uh, not a lot I can do this round. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just All gonna. Right. Next awesome. is Elias and the Illusory guys. Um, the illusory guys uh, are going to continue trained at Buck as he is in the water. They do not seem to notice you, Word. <laughs> They're going to fire through all three of them. Luckily, only one lands this time. And he low rolled a four, so you take two piercing damage as they continue to fire at you, just bombarding you with arrows. And Elias is going to look down at the grease below him. He's going oh, to... No fly up, almost oh meeting you at eye level, Fritz, and fly <laughs> over here. You have attack of opportunity, Fritz. Oh, uh... He got out of range for me. Do I have an attack of opportunity? You know what? Yes. Uh, you both have no, attack No, he's still in range for you. Buck has a range of 10. 
That's yes, what I mean. well, he's, he's gonna he's gonna up, keep though. flying this way. I just wanted oh, to stop him here. I see. Like uh, to indicate that you know you two can attack. So do I just just I just attack? Yes, any attack you wish to use. Oh. Ooh. Oh! Whoa. Wow, Ooh. very nice. You fire it, it lodges crits. into one of his wings and it just shoot, goes real deep. It was a great Ooh. shot. Plus 18. Ooh. Oh, geez. And we're, uh, Buck, your attack. I, I rolled a 10. You rolled a 10, yeah, that wouldn't hit. He yep. flaps and yep. flaps and flaps so hard that I'm actually going to need Fritz, Buck, and Lara to make strength saving throws. Strength saves? Oh, strength boy. saves. Okay. He's using a special thing it. with his wings. Wow. Straight 14 mm. with plus okay. zero. Uh, I'm not doing Lyra, I'm about to... <laughs> Lyra and Buck, you are fine. However, Fritz, you are thrown to the ground by the force of his flapping, and you are oh, on no. the grease and prone. Oh, okay. no. Oh, boy. And he lands on the other side, and he calls out once more. Should you fail, others would simply fulfill your purpose. Can you say you are even required? Dude's talking a lot of shit for what you yeah, just went through. Yeah, he's real sassy today. Your turn. Um, what yeah, it's is all the word rules? Play. <laughs> uh, word play. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my bonus action to get, like, up, up high. because Oh, I you don't need a bonus feeling... action for that. That's movement. That's just your movement. So yeah. so it oh, costs okay. half your movement to get up, and then you can presumably just fly 15 so feet straight up. You yeah, can right? go a total of 45 feet if you're using your dash. Yeah, that's in what it, I was like thinking. In, I so know. I want to so get up in the air. Up in the air, your your flying speed is different from your walking speed, so your flying speed is unaffected. But if you do land, mm -hmm. your walking speed is only 15 right now. Yes, and can I fly over to the portal and take it? You most yeah, certainly you can. Yeah, like one foot. Boop. You go into the portal and you show up over here. Zoop. Hi, buddy. <laughs> um, and... I will just... Thank you for bringing up your concerns. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, very nice. Yep, you <laughs> fire the arrow and it lodges into Ooh. him again. He's he's pretty... He's starting to look like a pincushion. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Okay. And yeah, that'll be your turn, I presume. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Buck, your turn. He's now on the other side of the arena. Yes, he is. But I can teleport, so I can yeah. teleport oh, to that's here. Right. Yeah. Um, so I can go boop, and then oh. I can say, out of the, get out of the way, Fritz. Boop, boop. And then. <laughs> oh, yeah. genius. Oh, wow. Damn, let's MVP. go. MVP. <laughs> now, here's the deal, uh, the here's DM. The deal. If I roll my, if I flip my special coin and my special coin lands on a uh, two, <laughs> then I get a nat 20 attack against him? Yes, or is, that, is it only on ability checks? Oh, that baby. is on any d20 check. Okay. But you have to preface oh, you're boy. using the coin before you roll it. I say, I pull out the coin, and I say, uh, let's see how this does, my catchphrase. And then I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I roll it. Hold on, let me roll a d2. Here uh, we go, baby. Oh, yes. Yes. That's oh, that's oh yeah. Part of... Heart of the cards, baby. Now, yeah. I what do I roll for? I forget what I roll for uh, the nat 20. So uh, you up. can just uh, roll your uh, whatever attack you would do, and we'll roll it twice. Because that's how crits work. Uh, so, the crit is rolled, the attack so is rolled if I, twice. So normally I would roll a 2d6. Uh, so, But it's only the dice that I roll the twice, The dice, right? yeah. The dice you roll yeah. twice. Yeah, so the modifier, bonus damage. Stats. Or rather, yeah, the, the bonus damage we only do once. Okay, so it's 46 plus 6 because I'm raging. Mm -hmm. Very wow. nice. 16 plus, because this was a critical uh, with my bludgeoning damage, and I have the crusher feet, I've yep. scored a critical hit that deals bludgeoning damage. Any roll attack rolls against him are made with advantage until the start of my next turn. All right, so it's like a guiding bolt, right? Yes. Basically. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right. There's no save, though. He just gets Yeah, 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 of course. You slam into, like, essentially his knuckle, and you hear a crunch as he cries out Ooh. in a draconic roar in pain. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, yeah, and then I don't have anything else I want to do or could do. So I will. I guess I could move, but I'm not going to do that. I'll end my turn where I am. All right, word. Your I turn. say... I, I try to I try to like aim for his eyes like we plan to do, but now I'm realizing he only has one eye, so I hit him in the hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wonderful! He's not. 
that's why he's the, he's so powerful. Word. <laughs> he's already been aimed at the eyes. <laughs> Where do you wish to send your unseen servant? Uh, he is going to continue his movement and interact with that object, turning off that fire. Yep, most certainly does. Boom. And now this portal is not covered in fire anymore. Alrighty then. I'm going to swish over there and just rush kind of between Fritz's legs and then boom, I'm right <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, very nice. Uh, then I will make a short sword attack. Short Are you still sword? blinded? Are you still blinded? Wisdom save. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. wisdom oh, save sorry first. For See if I'm sorry. You yes. are no longer blinded. I can see. Right, doesn't matter. Yeah. And guess what? You are sneaky enough that Elias has not noticed you. You're making this attack out of stealth, so you have advantage. I have triple advantage Actually, wait, because yeah, I have that's pack because tactics. Of the thing. One of those is a crit. But I still got a crit anyway. Wow. All right. You stab into I'm him. Lady winning. luck. Lady luck. You stab <laughs> into him. You can do some calculations. That is a 12 okay. plus uh, 11. Oh my gosh, my and Elias is, is looking tired. He is panting and breathing heavily. Flashback to I'm earlier in the, in the session. Shit. Yeah. I was going to say, flashback to earlier in the session, we were rolling horribly. Here we <laughs> yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we used all of that so luck bad. at the beginning. And now just crit, crit, crit. <laughs> <laughs> and I think okay. that's your turn, yeah, Ward? Yeah. Layra, your turn. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, well... Finish them all. Show you who's worthy. Five, ten. Hop. <laughs> yep, you're going to hop in that uh, one. So that just, yep. That brings you so to So I Fritz. think that's, oh, that's right. Uh, so that was 20, uh, 25. <laughs> yep, and <laughs> pops you out 30. right here next to Word. Yep. Excuse me, excuse me, fellas. Okay. <laughs> I would like to hit. We're just shoulder to shoulder and none of us are getting flanking. Yeah. Um, I would like to whack with that uh, flame blade I still have up because I haven't taken any damage or had to roll any concentration checks. Hacha! Oh, advantage. come on, baby. I rolled advantage. advantage. Okay, yes, advantage. let me roll it again. Not ah, enough. You go nice. and ping oh. kind of like just bounce against his tough, scaly hide. This is so embarrassing. Okay, cool. Um,. <laughs> well, that was my movement and my action. Uh, oh, yeah, bonus action. I'm going to uh, actually, yeah, uh, I am next to the two people who look like they probably need healing. Um, where was it? Like 14, right? Take another bomb of the summer court. I am uh, in pain. That's another three hit points. <laughs> Thank you so much for this generous <laughs> amount of healing and wound closure. No problem. I can't wait to absolutely regret this next turn <laughs> when we both get whacked. Okay. Oh, no. We were told not to group up. Oh no, you're so right. <laughs> Elias. We all just turn to ash. It's Elias just Fritz sees who takes that you have quest. grouped up. No, no. Oh, no. And he calls out <laughs> It was Many others have completed your quest before you. Can you say you will reach their heights? And he turns around yeah. and he's gonna do a tail swipe. Oh, oh boy. No. Here it comes. <sighs> Alright, he hits all three of you. Oh. In one big swipe, and you are all three going to take ten bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh baby! And make a except for me who takes five. Five, My and all bug. of you okay. make a strength saving ah. throw. Oh gosh! Gotcha. Okay. My tiny How about bones. a twelve? <laughs> Buck, you're <laughs> fine. You are able to stay still. However, Word and Lara, you are launched backwards Whoa. by the sheer force oh. of his oh, tail swipe. Oh baby! I can see God. <laughs> oh my gosh. What does she look like? Okay. <laughs> She's and blonde. these ones notice Red that point. you are separated, Fritz. These two. And they're going to fire oh. at you. No. Hello. Uh, one misses as you dodge out of the way. However, the one lands in you. And you are going to take five piercing damage as the arrow kind of skins you. This okay. one is going to continue to fire at Buck. And... Miss. Oh, do I need to make a, sorry, concentration check on my flame blade? You do. So How you does took, that work? Wisdom save? Uh, either half, half the damage you took or a DC 10 constitution saving throw, whichever one's higher. Con so, save. So you need to make a 10 or else you lose concentration. Okay. Yep, you still 12. have your flame oh. blade. Cool. I have concentration too that I got to keep up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, on your little dude. Uh, Give me a what is that? constitution. Oh, constitution. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Ten. Beats oh. it, beats it. Yep. Oh, it does. Yeah. Next. Fritz, your turn. 
Still you can see managed. Elias is struggling <gasps> to keep himself up. Um, am I allowed to make an educated guess that he can take fire damage? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The wheels are um, turning. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> get mm -hmm. up on high ground. Uh, which you cannot wait, Anakin. Which is hmm 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 hmm. Yeah, that's oh, ground level. Yeah, that's ground. Oh yeah, ground it level. is. Sorry, I saw a little thing. Hold on, I'm like thinking. Hold on, cogs turning. Brain, bird brain, bird brain. <laughs> um, so hypothetically. If I wanted to throw a torch that I have, because <laughs> oh. I have a tinder box that I could light it with, would that be a whole action? I would or say a bonus so, action? yes. Okay. If you're throwing it at a very specific direction, because I think aiming a throw in a precise manner takes a full action, because throwing a dagger is a full action. He's not in the oil, is he? Uh, he is. He's oh. standing in a little bit. Here, oh. let, him, let me move him. He's, yeah, he's in it. He's four squares okay. in. Okay. Oh, baby. I would like to. Um. Hop over to this little thing over here, just because uh -huh. I want to get a bit away from this this dude. Yep. And can I light my tinder box, sacrifice my tinder box and torch to set the fire, the oil on fire? I don't you think that uses the can. entire tinder box, right? Yeah, you don't it's have like to use the whole matches. one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Can I do that? You most certainly yes. can. Uh, no roll required because this grease is pretty big and a large target. So you light your match, you toss it into the fire, it lights a flame, and Elias cries out as the fire behind him catches him and burns him and singes him. He is going to take 26 fire damage. As Whoa! he oh my gosh. is defeated, oh. he is knocked unconscious <laughs> and falls into the water with a big splash. You have Whoa, defeated Elias, <laughs> and I am going to pause the music real quick. And the encounter is over as the illusory warriors. I can't pause this music for some reason. <laughs> it's too powerful. <laughs> Here, I'm I just didn't expect that to work. You can't stop the beat. <laughs> oh, there you go. You know, so Elias falls unconscious into the water as the illusory soldiers kind of step down and go to his aid to pull him. And just you see that they are holding their hands out in kind of a light, uh, a light emits from their hand, presumably healing him. As uh, Lara, you have seen, you recognize this yep. magic. Yeah, I'm glad they're doing it because otherwise I would have had to do it and uh, Word kind of needs my one spell slot left. <laughs> and this fire goes out and you can see that Elias comes to, he bursts his head out of the water and breathes heavily and returns back to his uh, satyr form. Let me find, do I have the token? Yes, he returns to his satyr form as he is now floating belly up in the water, just enjoying himself. And he is smiling <laughs> and laughing and uh, kind of clutching his shoulder a little bit and uh, kind of looks over at word, you nicked me good back there. Yeah, you, you did the same just a second ago. And like my unseen servant will slowly <laughs> float toward him and then do invisible karate. No, <laughs> unseen servant, no. <laughs> attacking him to no avail. Uh, the word is just like laughing to himself. He's like, yeah. Uh, apologies <laughs> for the trouble. I couldn't let up on you. I hope you understand. Oh. Yeah, you, you didn't. You didn't do that. Well done, pilgrims. I do want to apologize for all those harsh things I said. I truly take no joy in bombarding you with such hypotheticals. All attest and only attest. As, as such, I, I said them as questions that... Only you yourself can answer on your journey, and of which no answers are incorrect. Hmm. Those hits didn't feel hypothetical. I'll just say, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're literal. They're I'm gonna literal. fire off a first level cure wounds on word. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, so thank that's you. gonna be a that's gonna be a tasty D8 plus two, which is four, four. Okay, it's chip healing. I'll yeah, take all right. It. You're really and good I'll use at my, that. I'm so low level. 
Yeah. I did my last teleport. Zero damage to One of to my Elias. ribs is for sure still broken. <laughs> Elias kind of swim, kind of pushes his way and just struggles to get himself up. And he waves his hand over the illusory soldiers that dissipate as they kneel in servitude and kind of go away. Hmm. And he just kind of squeezes some of the water off of his, his pajamas. Hmm. Uh, but I can see now that you all work fairly well as a team. You will need that teamwork to take on this task. The Draconic Pilgrimage will be no simple feat, but when I see the ones before me here, I see promise. You better believe it after we get some rest. Of course, of course. And he goes over to you, Word, and extends a hand to help you up. Oh, <laughs> I take it like groaning the whole time. Now, about our little deal and he reaches into kind of his pajamas, kind of reaches down uh, where you see a necklace. He pulls out oh. a chain necklace of some kind, and at its bottom, there seems to be an oval piece of jewelry. He shakily lifts it over his head and hands it to whoever would take it. Um, I'll I'm take right it. There. Yeah, Word's right there, but I'd like to take it if possible. <laughs> Word is like, his hand is shakily reaching up, but he can't grab it, and you just rush forward and take it. I am it. slightly taller. No offense. Yeah. <laughs> you take it, and he, he takes his other hand and clasps it over atop yours that takes the, the piece of jewelry. My heart. Take it to Corencia for me. Of course. And you see, as he lifts his hand, you can see that it is a locket that at further inspection, it opens up to reveal a picture of a hardy middle-aged satyr giving a piggyback ride to a smaller girl of his same kin. Oh, 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 oh. that's what the heart is. Oh my gosh. That's unbearably sweet. Oh no, the other ones are gonna break our hearts too. Yeah. It's all gonna be sad from here on out. <gasps> that's a lovely, that's not very sad, that's a lovely thing. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be sad. Does she know she's in your heart? Uh, he kind of looks down and smiles. I sure hope she does, or else all those corn taffy will be a waste. <laughs> oh. oh no, they, they're good in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I took all of them. <laughs> of course. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, now that your trial here is over, as further congratulations, I wanted to grant you a reward in the form of early news. One that I hope to spread to the rest of Satya once this sp specific pilgrimage is over. This will be my final year as Dragon of Satya. <gasps> oh. I am old and will not be around forever. And I need to look for a successor, whether it be Jade, who seems like an obvious choice, or someone else who may become dragon. I for one know I never set out to become dragon myself, but who knows? Whoever it becomes may surprise us all. And if one becomes dragon, do they get the ability to turn into a dragon? Uh, traditionally, yes. <laughs> uh, one usually trains to become dragon, as it's a form one can ascend to, th to through a large amassing of power, be it physical, mm. arcane, or he winces a little bit political. But Ooh. some, like myself, seem to achieve dragon form on a whim, pure chance. And me, I, I took it as a, a blessing from the life tree, the privilege and opportunity to play a massive part in Quarency's renewal and to protect my home. I, I see it as a blessing. I have plans right now that I'm not going to tell anybody, but they are complicated and they do pertain to this conversation. Oh, oh very well. Do you Excuse require some me? privacy? <laughs> <laughs> he like opens a little notebook and writes some scribbles in it. <laughs> well, it, that being the case, um, having gotten the first heart, I imagine we'll set out on our journey to get the other ones sometime soon. Yes, as soon as you're ready. I would recommend getting all prepared at the shops in uh, in town. Of course, they'd be happy to give you discounts more more often than not. Some more willing than others. But if not, I can have a chat with them and let them know that the good of the whole realm rests on this, and they can at least hope to line their pockets a little bit less for that. I know. It's astounding how little people seem to think about that. 
this is kind of the future of the world itself. I think we're worth a little bit of, you know, fancy toys. Yes, the people have grown also, complacent because of our little fail-safes that we set about, but I feel to rely upon those fail-safes is disrespectful to the tradition. Oh, fail-safes? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, should you fail, there will be others that will try to convince the other dragons to bring their hearts to Corencia anyway. But I feel that it's not in the spirit of things. It doesn't give the same purpose. It just becomes, like all else in this realm, just another job. Hmm. But purpose. your pilgrimage is oh. much more than that. You are a symbol. You are an icon that people will look to for the future of Corencia. And I believe that that can be used as inspiration for good. Huh. Although I well, am... We're certainly not the ones to let you down. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. I, I know that I may be a bit naive in my idealistics and others a bit more cynical in seeing how this all works. But I'm, no, it's... I'm babbling. Yeah. Let me show you back to the outside. I'll escort oh. you. I like use my short sword as a yeah, as a walking me. stick. I have wanna, one like, more bomb of the even... summer court. <laughs> Who needs it? What? Do you, do you need I a still wing? do. Okay. Do you, wing? do you want me to lean? Do you want to like lean on me, dude? Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> finally. Oh, six. thank goodness. Hey, oh, nice. All right. Never mind. Fuck <laughs> my rib is no, okay now. <laughs> <laughs> Never my mind. My skin is bruised, but I will live. And as he is leading you out of the temple, he's just making small talk and asks you if you have any questions or any discoveries that you've made after becoming pilgrims of Satya or anything like that. Anything he can help with. Does he know about the witch lady? The weather witch. Um... He, he mentions, I have heard rumors of this weather witch. We have given all we can. I've consulted with the Lord to see if she can't afford to spend any extra resources trying to find her, because if she is out there, that is a great danger to to us all. Mm. I was under the impression that simple weather control could not command the blot. So did we, and this makes this discovery ever the more concerning. We've thought, at least, that this was no mere act of necromancy. We don't see any life signs in the blot, and we have made sure of that before anyone took any precautions against them, but perhaps we have been mistaken. Um, I have a question. I, I noticed that your niece was pr uh, praying when we when we got here, and I, I, do you, if, I don't know if you consider yourself a religious man, but I don't have you known Father Omar at the church for a very long time? He, hearing his name, just like his shoulders slump a little bit and he hunches over. Ah, oh. uh, yes, Father Omar and that whole business. I presume you know of his extra dealings now. <laughs> Not to the extent, doing yeah. Them. Mm -hmm. mm. Now I, Not to a great extent. No, I for one... I'm open to other religious practices in Satya, and of course his religious practices are nothing to be too upset about. However, uh, being a man of his age, I can see that he simply works by different methods to keep the peace here, but if it weren't for Lord Candela's counsel, I would have preferred he and his ilk stay out of Satya. He calls it giving second chances to criminals wishing to atone. I call it extorting the desperate. This You're seems significantly more complicated than I realized. You see for a second, Elias' yeah. face actually starts to turn sour. Uh, one of the rare times he's ever seemed angry at anyone, and he quickly catches himself and returns to a smile. Uh, apologies, it's no good for someone in my position to gossip. Forget I said anything. Uh, Father Omar does mean well and, and knows what possible unscrupulous things, as he calls it, would happen in Satya in his absence. And Elias oh. takes a moment to recompose, and he, he leans in to give you guys a whisper. All right, but between you and me, that turtle can shove it, but Ooh. that doesn't leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. R right, Certainly right, not. right. That stays right here. As he's leading you through, when he brings you to the mirror room, he kind of waves his hand to dissipate the mirrors, and the mimic chest turns back into an ordinary chest, and you can see the, uh, the owl bear kind of is laying down and uh, Elias goes up to it and it seems docile now and Elias goes to pet, pet it and scritch it kind of behind the ear. There, there, oh. Fluffles, I hope this wasn't too difficult on you. <laughs> May I 
Also pet the owl bear. No, oh, absolutely. Go that. ahead. And he he, he, so he seems very excited, and he he leans over and presents Fluffles the owl bear as he's laying there lazily, kind of licking his wound a little bit. And Elias uh, lets you know it's no hard feelings. Of course, he knew what he was getting into. In fact, he was very excited to come in here. He seemed very very excited to see what new pilgrims have come this way. He used to give oh, rides to Jade when she was younger. That is I'm going to sit on his absolutely shoulders. adorable. <laughs> I'm going to give him a little scritchy scritch behind the ears and throw a first level cure wounds. <laughs> oh, did, did it, oh, yeah, that's right. Buck attacked him. Oh, my God. That's the most healing I've done all day. Oh, come on. I'm so sorry, word. <laughs> and as you as you are petting the owlbear, you can see a familiar face. The the slime come through as well, and it just kind of bubbles oh. and blops and and uh, Elias kind of looks at it. Ah, oh, there you are. I was, look, I was waiting wondering where you were. I hope this wasn't too much on you either. And it just kind of like bobs back and forth like a little jello on a plate. <laughs> this, this, this is the is happiest a newer, I've been in weeks. <laughs> this is a newer member of our little temple here. Don't, don't quite have a name for them yet, but they insisted on coming in and I couldn't really stop them anyway, so I decided to give them a little bit of work while they were here. Aww. Can I can I offer them both temporary tattoos? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> temporary tattoo is slime. The slime opens its mouth way wide up for you to place them in there. I'm gonna give him a butterfly. It goes, oh. <laughs> it's it kind of like puts its whole mouth over your arm and just kind of <laughs> just like sucks up the the tattoo that now just floats into its in. It's like little jelly body, and you can see that little fizzes of bubbles kind of come from the uh, tattoo as it is digesting it now. I like the idea that it fully consumes everything but the ink in the fake tattoo, so it just yes. floats there as like a translucent yeah. image. Yes. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm going to apologize to the Alba. I'm sorry. <laughs> can a tattoo make up for it? They're kind of funky. I don't know where you put a temporary tattoo on an owl bear. Well, it's, it's his face. decision and his body. It's true. It's true. It seems to it's not beak. give a single care in the world. Now that it's no longer in combat with you, you notice its demeanor is incredibly lazy. So it just kind of lays there while you like present the tattoo, and it just and just rolls over a little bit. What a noble creature! <gasps> Tummy so tattoo. Majestic. <laughs> Tummy tattoo. Just like stuck to it like a sticker on a fur rug. Just put it like right next to a nip nop. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Is an owlbear a mammal? Wait, let's not get into this. Oh, yeah. That's, it. That's, That's the questions question. that don't need oh, answers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think Confucius asked that question. Is it like a platypus? Does it lay eggs, but also, you know what? Let's definitely <laughs> not get into not. this. <laughs> yeah, you guys spend a little bit of time there. Biology. Elias leads you out, and your draconic pilgrimage officially has started. And that is where yes. we're going to end Wahoo. today's session. Woohoo! Hooray! Hooray. That was oh so my fun. God. That was yeah. so fun. I love that dungeon. I'm sorry we skipped yeah. like half that of it. That is okay. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. You know, it was I, genuinely an inspiring dungeon. I wouldn't yeah. have designed it without it keeping in mind that sometimes things are just going to get skipped. You know? Yeah. And that is okay. Oh, man. 